Hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? <laughs> hello, Toasty. Loki. Eighth, J. Al. Al, why are you mad? What did I do? My favorite dish to make is baked chili dogs with sweet chili. Reminds me so much of a festival I went to as a kid. Oh, was the festival... Um... My thing isn't lighting up. Okay, I fixed it. Um... Uh, hello, Hima. How are you doing, baby girl? Uh, but hey, was the festival the first time you had those, um, big chili dogs? Is that why- is that why, it, um, it reminds you of it? You're supposed to be resting? I never agreed to this, Al. <laughs> Besides, I did say- I did say, um... Um, I don't remember what I said, but, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Stomach, stomach is, is kind of fine. We're, we're all good. It's fine. <laughs> Mari, my love. Oh my gosh. Hima, my love. Mi amor, mi corazón. It was. They weren't baked, however. They did taste the same that way. I baked them to make the buns crispy. Oh, so the baked, the baked part is kind of like your own twist to them then. Was good. <laughs> no, what's good is this hot chocolate that I made myself. It's not actually that hot anymore because it's been sitting here for a little bit because I got distracted. But it's okay. It's still pretty warm. It's still pretty good. Meow, meow. <laughs> How are you doing, Toasty? How's my little kitten? It's been a little bit, hasn't it? Hello, Nan. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty doing pretty good that's good are you doing anything for thanksgiving toasty i ha just had a thought one day making them and went i wonder what this would be like after putting them in the oven i mean i feel like i kind of do that too um there are like several dishes that i kind of experiment with sometimes uh, deciding if they taste better like cooked on the stove or if they're better in the oven and if i do it in the oven whether it's better to bake them, broil them, or toast them. I did an exam for my communications class and I got a 77%. Are we are we happy we got a 77%? Question mark. I walk into stream and someone's being called a kitten. Did I miss something here? <laughs> uh, Toasty has been one of my friends for a a good while, um, and he's like he's like one of my little adopted my, my little adopted kids, and he loves cats, so I call him my kitten. Isn't that right, Toasty? Making homemade mashed potatoes and pasta. Mm, that sounds good. Michael, oh no, oh no, here comes a little gremlin. Even though I still don't believe you have a gremlin voice. Uh oh, stinkies. Why does that sound like Phil? Is that what Phil's saying in his stream right now? And hello, Emerus, how are you doing? I hope your day or night has been well. Um, not sure if you're in the US or celebrate Thanksgiving, or for anyone in the chat for that matter. Is anyone doing anything for Thanksgiving? And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, are you guys doing anything for the weekend? I mean, I've been being called Big Brother Dragon lately. Wait, who's calling you Big Brother Dragon? <laughs> Helping me on homework that one time. What do you mean that one time? I helped you with your homework so much, Toasty. <laughs> Wait, it's Thanksgiving this weekend? Correct, correct. It is Thanksgiving here in the US tomorrow nope staying home and working oh oof no plans at all some people in discords oh your brother your big brother dragon you're a discord dragon 
You're visiting your parents this weekend? Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Are you guys planning to do anything um, while you're there? I know you never agreed not to, and I still expected you to, but still, Al, that was your undoing. You expecting me to not be stubborn and actually rest? Shame on you. <laughs> I'm not really doing anything on the other side of the country from family. Mm. What about, um, what about like with friends? Do you have any plans with friends or anything? Going to Virginia tomorrow with my mom and dad to go see my cousins for Thanksgiving. They're cooking this year. Ooh. Do you got Jay, do you guys have like traditional dishes that you cook every year? Or do you know what you guys are making? Or I guess what they're making this year? Discord dragon, these nuts are crusty. <laughs> Michael, why are you like this? <laughs> Remember Toasty's graduation team? And by graduation team, it was literally me and sometimes Zone. <laughs> you single-handedly helped me clutch my high school senior year. How are you doing with school though, Toasty? Um, how are your college classes? A bit random, but can I ask for your guys' height? I suddenly got very conscious about mine. What do you mean? Are you like... You, you mean like you're like insecure about yours, Non? I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm like short, but I'm kind of short. I'm shorter than the national average. No, I expected you still stream, was just holding out hope you'd listen. Al, is there anyone I actually listen to? Also been called professor a lot, so I decided to add it to my pronouns. That's not- is that- does that count as a pronoun? <laughs> because I'm a dumbass gremlin who can't be handled? No, 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 that's not true, that's not true. You're- you're a cute bean. You're a cute bean, Michael. I have all good grades now? Good! Good job, good job. But it's fun and I made some friends. I'm proud of you, Toasty. I'm super proud of you, I hope you know that. Let's see, turkey, ham, stuffing, cranberry sauce, stuffing, wait, so we have stuffing twice? Or is it different kinds of stuffing or do you just really like stuffing? <laughs> yes, I look so weird in short, that's not true. I, I don't, I absolutely don't believe that. Also, what is your definition of short? I'm 5 foot 9 inches and those are two different measurements. Eh? Eh? Michael, why are you like this? <laughs> it does now. <laughs> eighth is six. Yeah, eighth is six five. He's like a giant. Mahima super tall, five six, bro. Emrys, you're five eleven. Why is why is everybody in my chat tall? What the heck? All right, now I'm focused on getting healthy, going to the gym, and eating healthy. Hey, let's go. I'm proud of you. Then that's probably something I need to focus even more on um i've been a little bit slacking lately uh but i'm gonna say i'm gonna wait until after until after thanksgiving probably <laughs> um i mean i do workouts at home but i could probably i could probably use going back to the gym i say stuffing toys <laughs> yeah i just assume i just assumed you really liked stuffing jay which, which isn't like a bad thing. I feel like a lot of people like stuffing. Personally, I don't really like stuffing. The reality is I'm only nine inches tall. Oh, Michael, you cute little bean. You can fit in my pocket. 5'11". Oh yeah, Jay, you're pretty tall too. I'm still struggling to eat more than one meal a day. I mean, is that one meal at least healthy? You're not like eating one meal of junk food, are you, Aeth? Oh god, no, I don't like stuffing. Oh, you don't like stuffing? Hmm, you're one of like the few people I've actually heard say they don't like stuffing. I actually don't even really know what goes in stuffing. Does the stuffing actually go on the turkey or is it something like on the side? And does anyone actually make a turkey? Because my family doesn't make turkey. No one no one no one in the family likes turkey. So making one kind of seems pointless, even if it's quote unquote tradition. 
you don't even know what I look like. Everyone around me is taller. And I think I'm also like the average short, but like if I look in the mirror, it looks odd. But if I present myself higher, it seems more natural. Wait, what do you mean present yourself higher? And I mean, I don't have to know what you look like to know that like you're, you're beautiful just the way you are. Everyone has their own, everyone has their own like brand of beauty and like looks and how you like, um, how you define looks is so subjective anyway. But like everyone around you is taller, bro. Everyone around me is also taller. <laughs> I don't act, I don't actually know anybody who's shorter than me. No, wait, no, that's a lie. I know one person who's shorter than me. Hey, that would be fun to be in your pocket. Can you like feed me little crumbs from your food? I nom it like a mouse. That's that's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Michael, I'm gonna get art. I'm gonna get art, and you're gonna you should, you, do you have like an OC or anything? I'm gonna get art with your like OC in my pocket. And I'm just gonna be feeding you little breadcrumbs. I'm gonna butcher. What is it? Nod not usable no disable how do you how do you say your name i'm so sorry but hello <laughs> sure i sure don't i tried it before nope don't like it mm -mm -mm. yeah i've had it before because i was curious and i don't know it was very maybe it was just like that batch because it was very salty it was very salty and i didn't really like the question the question I don't know why I said question. I was looking up at the pin, the pin message that said question of the day. Um, I didn't like the texture, the texture of it. Now I've been in the works to get myself a PNG for like a year, but money do be a struggling. <laughs> Is it just the money then? Do you have like a design? Do you have a design or an artist that you want to work with? Because I feel like, um when it comes to like PNGs and stuff also a big struggle is actually figuring out what you want for a design because I'm still kind of in the middle of deciding what I want to do for a redesign and I always go back and forth on a lot of things kind of like um, what kind of outfit I want her to have uh, which includes like details and the color palette and like what color I want the hair to be or like the pattern of the hair, etc, etc. Hello, Say. Have you come to give me uppies? <laughs> I have a design story behind- Ooh, you have lore too? You know, our sound is literally just the money. Oh, oof. <laughs> Michael, you should do- you should do like a little donation, um, a donation goal on your streams then do it for for your png of course uppies for sure unless you've been bad <gasps> what are you talking about say i've been so good if i ever decided to be a vtuber or whatever i'd model the character similar to what i look like irl yeah 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 i feel like a lot of people um do that too part of like the allure and fun of having a, an OC and VTuber is getting to design it however you want but also like I think it's really cool when people um design their OCs similar to themselves that's good to hear Mari <laughs> so does that mean that means I that means I do get uppies right say right 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 like I was gonna get it back into September and then Rent basically screwed me over. Mm, mm, yeah. Bills, bills do be like that. I feel like everything, every plan that I have that involves money always gets screwed over with student debt. I cry. I cry looking at how much I still owe, even after several years of already paying, trying to pay it off. Present myself as in getting on my toes or standing on something that makes me higher. Up, wearing shoes with thicker soles putting like my posture more upright and it's not as much as the looks but more as in it's not fitting me as in <laughs> as in you being shorter just doesn't feel right to you is that what you mean 
do they most people have animal based avatars at least from what i've seen i mean there are definitely a lot of people who have animal based avatars but i feel like even with those animal based avatars like you can still a lot of people still put like a reflection of themselves in in their design you know like whether it be like body shape or like how um or like the type of outfits and style that they have uh, or even like the color of hair or color of eyes, that kind of thing. Not necessarily full on completely based off of themselves, but like different like aspects of themselves. But yes, animal VTubers, like the like cat girls and, and dog boys definitely are popular. Come here, come here. Let's go, let's go. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm going over to Say's to get uppies. You want uppies, Mari? I got you. Ooh, Jay, you're gonna also give me uppies? <laughs> Say you give Mari uppies too. We'll take turns. No, I don't share. <laughs> they say a little greedy. A little bit. <laughs> Non, yes. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I mean, yeah. Sometimes the the cards that we're dealt with aren't exactly the cards that we want, or doesn't exactly feel right. But we we make do with what we have. But I mean, if you have different ways to try and help you, I don't want. I don't know if combat is the right word. Like like you said, like making sure like your posture is up straight, making, wearing thicker sole shoes, stuff like that. Anything that helps. Hmm. Are we hot chocolate's not very hot anymore. I'm crying. What are uppies? Um, basically, I want Say to carry me. <laughs> um, but did did you have a preferred name? Slash, did I absolutely butcher your username because I feel like I did? Say, get up there. <laughs> maybe? Wait, what do you mean, maybe? Don't do this to me. <laughs> Either Mari and I or Nada. Say. Say. Say, I just want uppies from you. Please. Pretty please. You're so adorable. No, Huma. No, this is bad just wants me for uppies that's not what i said why are you like this that's not what i said i didn't say i only want you for uppies i said i only want uppies from you what the what the, what the fuck say why are you like this why are you like this guys say that say actually hates me he actually secretly hates me that's why he's like this at the end of the day it's still not reality but you're right i guess yeah i mean if you really want if you really want to dish out that much money for not a guaranteed success, you could always get leg lengthening surgery. You accepted uppies from Jay? Say! <laughs> Alright guys, looks like that's like that's the uh, that's the end of stream. Um, I'm gonna go cry in the corner now. I'll, I'll catch you guys next week. <laughs> Cry. I can never I can never say anything around him. Clipped and ship wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, never mind then, never mind. He actually just doesn't want to give me uppies, that's why. Hima, Hima, can I go cry in your lap? Uh, 
At least you still love me, right? Are uppies really that enjoyable? I don't know, I've never gotten uppies and say won't give me uppies. I'm spreading the uppies lifestyle. Honestly, the amount of times I've said it ever since you introduced it to me, I swear to God, say. <laughs> Just dropping by, have a great stream. Well, thank you, Jim. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Come over, I'll make the hot cocoa. Oh, let's go, let's go. Can we drink hot cocoa in a pillow fort and watch movies? She's about to end stream because she got bamboozled. I'm gay, I'm just getting my heart broken over here. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just go curl up in this blanket. But there are people that don't like being carried, right? Yes, I'm pretty- yeah. There are definitely people who don't like being carried. There are people who don't like being um, carried, hugged, poked, or even touched. Like, at all. Which is totally fine, obviously. Everyone has their own uh, boundaries and preferences. It was my favorite dish, easy baked mac and cheese. Mm, do you put anything in the mac and cheese? Like, I don't know. People put bacon bits in mac and cheese, right? Or like chicken? Like shredded chicken? Or, or is it just straight up mac and cheese? Let's go, I'll get the blankets. Ooh, let's go. Get like get like the thick comforters and um and the fuzzy buns too. We'll get all nice and comfy and cozy. Bro, that sounds nice being curled up in a blanket, said while I'm literally in bed right now. Okay, but like, do you have nice blankets while you're in bed? Question. Mari, do you want uppies? I can always give you one someday. <laughs> all, the tall, all the tall people offering uppies. Guys. No warm, comfortable hugs, as in at all, that's sad. I mean, yeah, some people just don't like the sensation of being touched or they're just, or they're really anxious about it, which is fine. I don't like being touched, but I want cuddles from specific people. Oh yeah, yeah, there's that too, where um, you don't like something in general unless it's from a specific person, like normally. Um, like, stream aside, because I can usually just bounce off of you guys in chat, but like, normally IRL, I don't really talk a lot. I am much more comfortable doing non-verbal communication, but if it's like specific people, then, then I actually talk a, a significant amount. But that usually takes like a really long time, or a, or we'd have to have like, have to been talking a really long time or a lot i love a hug right now emrest i would totally give you a hug i will just hand out hugs i love hugging people especially like the people who just like um uh, who like linger who like linger in a hug and just like absorb absorb all the warmth and comfiness i love those I don't like being touched by people that aren't my partner. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people, um, like I do know some people who absolutely hate being touched, um, unless it's like, say like their partner or if it's like family. Yes, they think it's hell and hella comfy. <laughs> okay, then there you go. It's straight up mac and cheese. Maybe my dad will tear that shit up. <laughs> Do you put specific types of cheeses in it? Even then, it's only for my friends. Mm -mm -mm. But being scared doesn't mean that you like the thing, but the fear of that thing. Wait. Wait, wait, Non, I'm sorry. Can you like, <laughs> can you rehash that? <laughs> 
That's exactly how I am, Ari. I figured. Eighth. Eighth is... Eighth, eighth is kind of, Eighth is special. He's intimidating and tall. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Eighth is super sweet. Um, everyone got that one specific person that would let touch them all the time, anytime? Mm, maybe? Maybe? Yes? No? I don't know. There, I'm, I've definitely met some people who are very adamant about hating that sort of thing and are really particular- and I find like those people are also really particular about other things too. Which kind of makes sense. I would accept or give all the hugs and cuddles. <laughs> Al, that's because you're a teddy bear. You're a sweet, lovable teddy bear. I could go for a hug right now, but I would also get the flu if I did. Mm. <laughs> yeah, go for a hug from a specific person. Hmm? <laughs> nope, they cook it, we eat it, that's it. Oh, do you, so do you not know what's in it, Jay? I haven't had any hugs since before COVID, and when I do, I barely got the good long ones. And those were only ever received by my dad, sad life. Received by your dad, so your dad was the only one who ever got the the quote-unquote good long ones. Okay, we back. <laughs> we backy. Did you get snackies? Have you eaten today, say? Hmm. I mean, if you're anxious about it, then you wouldn't necessarily dislike the hugs, but the fear that they bring, no? I mean, yes and no. I feel like if someone gives, if something gives you anxiety, um, then that turns into a dislike of the thing itself because of the association and what it brings. So yes, at the heart of it, it's mainly the feeling that it gives you that you don't like, but because that thing gives you those feelings, then it turns into a dislike of the thing itself. Nope, not really. I stay away from the kitchen. I don't know if that's a good thing, Jay. <laughs> a rice ball? Say, we talked about this. Wait, did you end up getting food last night? Or I guess this morning? Was it this morning? Did you end up going out and getting food? They weren't good and warm, but they were longer than the one, than the others I received. Oh, I see, I see. Have you ever, have you tried asking? Have you tried asking for longer hugs? This morning, last night, same, same. <laughs> yeah, I did. That's why I passed out on you. Say, you just always pass out on me, actually. <laughs> but it's okay. Not really. When it comes to Thanksgiving, family be busy preparing the food. Mm. Do you ever do you ever make something yourself for Thanksgiving, Jay? No, I wouldn't dare. Why not? If you want something, it doesn't hurt to ask for it, right? Rather than um rather than just like not getting it and always being sad about it. You never know if someone would give you what you want. I expect you to be asleep. Wait, I expect you to be asleep by one or two. So yeah, catching me off with being up longer. <laughs> Listen, so sleep schedule does not exist anymore. Okay. Also, I've been trying to stay up later anyway because I need to get back on that uh, recording grind schedule. Like a sandwich, I guess, Jay. <laughs> okay, what kind of sandwich? If you had to make like a sandwich dish or just a bunch of sandwiches for your family for a for an event what kind of sandwich would you make yeah it's like when mari asked me for uppies i might give it i might not say is actually such a big tease let me tell you am i the only one who loki cries from getting hugged for too long he was does this mean does this mean if slash when we meet up and i just like hug and hold you are you gonna cry in my arms I was about to say I can stay up with you, but then you say record- Okay, listen, say I'm not gonna be recording all the time, but I'm gonna be trying to stay up that late all the time so I can get into a kind of consistent uh, sleep schedule. 
not Joms. Happy birthday, Mari. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you for the birthday wish. Oh, I see what you did. <laughs> Last person- person? I can talk. God. Last person who hugged me learned exactly why I tell people ask first. I flinched incredibly hard from it. Mmm. Yeah. I feel like that- that- yeah, that makes sense. I think for me personally, um, if I don't see it coming, then yeah, I definitely flinch. Sometimes I'll even like flail out, um, just out of reaction. But if I see it coming, um, and it's someone I know, then I will happily, I will happily accept it. I can't cook. Jay, it's never too late to learn. <laughs> Especially if it's like a food dish that you really like, then then it's definitely worth learning how to make it because then you don't have to wait for someone else to make it for you. If? No, you mean when? Yeah, yeah, Hima. When, right? When? When we go on our, like, our group Disney trip, right? Right, right? I mean, crying from being hugged is still better than pissing yourself for being hugged. Michael, why? <laughs> Past experience is my reason? Mmm, that makes sense. I'm limp if people hug me. If it's a girl though, I give them the hover hug. Wait, what's the hover hug? Is that like where you like you kind of hug, but you just like you like don't actually touch them, and you just hover your arms over them? One time I actually cook was I made homemade tacos. See, there you go. To those talk, how did those tacos turn out? Were they yummy? Were they good? Don't hug me from the back is all I'm gonna say. If you guys ever meet say. Just try not to be- just try to always be, uh, beside him or in front of him. If I remember correctly. Gotta avoid the booba. Oh my god. And for if- if- if a girl is trying to hug you, I'm pretty sure she don't care at that point. If she's the one trying to hug you. Actually, I had one nice one from one of my dance teachers for my birthday. Ooh. I don't know when that was. It was warm and long. It was nice. So you got that one hug to hold on to. And you'll get, you'll get, you'll get more hugs. You'll get more hugs in the future. I believe. I care though. <laughs> okay, okay. What's a bro hug? Is that yeah? Is that a certain type of hug, or is it just a hug between between two dudes? If I consider myself a bro, does that also count as a bro hug? And she knows? Of course I know, Say. I remember you telling me that, and I'm not a- I'm not trying to get myself punched in the face if I ever meet you. We can only be bros if we go into a hot spring together, bare <laughs> <laughs> I'ma say no. Wait, you're saying no to what? To which one? To which statement? When girls press themselves against you while you're hugging, they are actually trying to measure your body to see if they can consume your flesh. Hima, why are you telling them all the secrets? Baby girl. To Jay? Oh. <laughs> yes, Ihima, you gave away the secret. Now Say's gonna be wary when I meet him and try to hug him. See? Damn it. God damn it. <laughs> we can touch tips more. Oh my god. Just the tip, just the tip, just like in Fall Guys. <laughs> Flesh consumption, uppies, I keep learning new things. Exactly, this is what- this is what streams are about. We just learn new things. These are educational streams. Your fingy and my fingy? <laughs> which fingy though? Which- which- which fingertips are we touching? Like, like, pointer, middle, ring, pinky. 
middle finger. <laughs> Why? Is it because those are the longest? Mari, if I give you uppies, I expect one in return. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I'm pretty- I'll- I'll give uppies to anyone. I'm- I'm obviously super big and strong. Is your ring longer than your middle? Uh, no. My middle fingers are my longest fingers. Hello, Persona. How are you? How's your day been? Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? You are strong, I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna like... I can totally bench press everyone. <laughs> Uppies is spreading. Yeah, look what you started, say. But then again, after you said it to me, I'm pretty sure I've said it at least once to like everybody I talk to. <laughs> I had a platonic crush on them too. I didn't wash the jacket I had on during the hug for maybe a week. I didn't wear it anymore though, so no unhygienic actions here <laughs> because it had their scent on it and whenever I wore it, it brought back the comfort. Too bad it doesn't fit or bring the memory anymore. Was that a weird thing? I mean, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. If you have something that like... That is... Related or connected to a really fond memory or a person, I can see, I can see how someone can be like that. Personally, I'm not super sentimental like that, so it's a little bit weird to me, but to each their own, honestly. Nick the Zombie Boy, thank you for the follow and welcome to the guild. I hope you enjoy your stay. We have to bury it all in the hot spring first. What? Then we can commit the hugging of the bro you speak of. <laughs> the real tip touching. Say, say, why are you sus? This is why you're say sussy. All the time. Hello, how's it going today? It's going pretty well, thank you. How's your day been so far? Are you someone who celebrates Thanksgiving? Do you have any plans for the holiday? And if not, do you have any plans for the weekend? It's wonderful to see you again, beautiful Mari. Oh, sweet. I'm doing well as I am enjoying my week off due to Thanksgiving, of course. How are you doing so far? I'm doing well, Persona. Thank you for asking. Um, I was originally going to go to my aunt's house tomorrow for Thanksgiving, and it would have been the first time, um, it would have been the first time that we spent any holiday with extended family since the quarantine started, but my aunt's kids are sick, as well as another aunt is sick, therefore all my plans tomorrow and this weekend have been cancelled, <laughs> which I'm not complaining about too much, honestly. Uh, and thank you for the care package, Nan. Here is your hydrate. And here is your stretch. And my posture is immaculate. There is no shrimping here. My day has been alright, thank you for asking. Okay, that's good, good, good. Good to hear. I don't celebrate shit. <laughs> Not even my birthday. I just enjoy life on a daily basis. That's fair, that's fair. I don't really do anything for my birthday either. It's really my fam- my family is really big on celebrating birthdays, but I never really know what to do for mine, so I kind of just let them- let them decide. Okay, Mari, we can hang out on the swipe yet. Let's go. Guys. Guys, say wants to hang out with me. Also, I'm Canadian, so Thanksgiving was like two or three months ago. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Never mind then. <laughs> Do you have any fun plans for the weekend then? Also, did you have a preferred name that you wanted to be called? Or I can totally call you Nick the Zombie Boy 420, even, if that's what you want. Coming down with the sickness. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, everybody- everybody seems to be getting sick lately. Not- not necessarily with, uh, COVID, but, like, I'm pretty sure my brother is getting a little- a little cough-cough. Like, a little cold. It's- it's cold flu season again. I want to go to the tea store again. Little Orchid, are there any near you? I must find more worldwide. Okay, when you say tea store, 
you you literally just me mean a store that sells tea right like tea that you can brew yourself and if so yes there are several near me some in the mall and some um individual you can call me nick or zombie mm, okay okay you didn't you didn't have like a preference of leaning one way or another like you don't prefer to be called nick or, or prefer to be called zombie? Really, either or? Okay, I've been awake for over 36 hours now. My eyelids are feeling heavy, so I'm ahead off to sleep. Hope you have a fun stream. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate you for dropping by. Uh, always good to see you. Uh, I hope you're able to rest well. Um, and I hope your cutie also has a fast recovery. Mari, when you hang out with Say, make sure you measure his flesh. Yes, Hima, don't worry. I'll take I'll take notes and we will convene in DMs. I'm off tomorrow on Friday. Let's go. Let's go, Jay. Are you gonna do anything on Friday then? Um, cause tomorrow you're doing Thanksgiving with your family. Right? Are you staying over there for the weekend or are you coming back and doing something else? I thought we weren't being sus. I don't know what you're talking about, Say. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> Free weekend, Mario Kart, question mark? Um, well, maybe. Maybe. I know for sure Saturday, um... What am I doing Saturday? Saturday, I'm planning on maybe maybe doing a weekend stream but i don't know for sure sunday sunday i am gonna be on saga's channel uh playing fortnite with him thank you i hope she does too yeah 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 yeah, yeah. good night michael sweet dreams i hope you can actually fall asleep i know i know you're also one who's who deals with the insomnia i've been getting sick but that's because of my lack of sleep. Yeah, lack of sleep will definitely do that to you. Trying to get better though, remember to get your rest, people. Don't be like me or Michael or pretty much the majority in chat. <laughs> yes, tell chat to not be like the majority of chat. <laughs> I have such a white name. <laughs> I mean, you guys wanna know a secret? My real name, my real name is also a quote unquote white name even though I am not white. Coming back home tomorrow night and Friday, I might stream more DVD. DVD, that's uh, Dead by Daylight, right? That's what you've been playing uh, when you stream. When you like freak out whenever something is, is coming at you. <laughs> OMG, not that sussy, LOL. <laughs> I was about to convert it into inches, but I'll keep my height to, my, to myself. Your height, say, I'm pretty sure I know your height. I think we've talked about heights before. So is mine with another reason? Mm -mm -mm. I'm 4'8", now you know. <laughs> yeah, that's really guys, On I'm the one who actually gives say the uppies. I'm, I'm his mom. At least what people tell- that's what people tell me. What do, you, what, do, what do you mean that's what people tell you? Who's telling you that you're 4'8"? <laughs> I'm not fully white though. I'm native French and Irish. Why am I gonna sound super ra racist but like isn't that white? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Mario, you watched me last night freaking out. Yeah, I watched you like there was like this guy There's like this big guy that was just like coming at you and you were running around with a What is it kind of like a gasoline container and you tried stopping him by putting Like a fallen door or a piece of wood in front of him, but he was like a spirit or something. So he just walked right through it That's what I remember watching Say is small say is actually just really cute that part, you're absolutely right, Huma. He's adorable. Mm. 
not the, not gonna lie most of the time when i think when i think about say i only just imagine him in his like chibi emote form what do you mean i don't get upset at you <laughs> why are you spreading lies i don't get upset when I, when you ask me to talk to you i don't know what you're talking about thinking about me yeah 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 say i think about you and then do you know what this do you know what this man said he said i'm cute only in the right light he hates me i'm more native than anything but i was raised in a white family oh oh oh, oh okay I see, I see i see i see i never wrote down what what name to call you let me do that real quick actually before i forget i'm gonna call you zombie just because i think that's that's because i think it's funny I hope that's okay. My name was chosen by my brother. He chose a name off the internet. <laughs> 24 hours within after I was born because the doctor guessed my gender wrong. Whoa, wait, really? So like the doc, so when they were doing like the ultrasound and stuff like that, the doctor told your family one gender, but you were actually the other gender. Little orchid, I was gift gifted something a while back and thought of giving it to you as it's actually the reason i came up with the nickname little orchid wait what is it what is it now i want to know what is it like i know i'm not necessarily saying give it to me but i want to know now <laughs> i am still kind of um i think it's still kind of funny that most like my names have bros in it but you call me little orchid which is cute but funny yes can you believe that don't they do like more than just one as well how does that happen uh, yeah i don't i don't pretend to know how a lot of medical things work but that kind of seems a little weird Yeah, apparently we can't give Mari things. Yeah, Al, even though you keep insisting that you're going to, it's not going to happen. Wow, you pinned a message? That's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't actually didn't know you could pin messages until I accidentally did it in, in a friend's stream. And since I usually have a hard time coming up with topics when I do like just chatting stuff, I figured I would just do a question of the day. Especially since, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up tomorrow. I'm curious. I'm curious about people's favorite stuff and what they're into. My friends on Xbox call me zombies too, so I'm used to it. Mmm. Do you play most of your games on Xbox? Or do you have like any other consoles or do you play any PC games? I just noticed you have a flower tattoo on your left arm. Time to zoom in. <laughs> yeah, fun fact, the flower tattoo, um, it's going to get redesigned when I get my actual model. Um, but my uh, future VTuber model mama, who's actually a friend of mine, uh, he actually agreed to redesign the tattoo, uh, which I'm eventually going to get IRL. So I'm at, so. A lot of so a lot of the tattoos that are gonna show up on my model they're gonna be based off of my actual tattoos as well as tattoos that i'm planning on getting i'm insisting because it is in fact happening al how are you even gonna get it to me you don't know where i live bro <laughs> flower power yeah i do like blue roses actually are my favorite flower i like them because because they're manu- they're like, they're unnatural. I'll tell you, Al, no worries. Say, you don't know where I live either. <laughs> I drink tequila and to cook all day. <laughs> Hima, do you ever cook with the tequila? Question mark? What you mean I'm coming over for the uppies? Bro, I thought I was coming to you for the uppies. It's a blue orchid necklace. <gasps> That's super cute, eh? Phil, wave. Phil, why are you why are you coming into my why are you redeeming stuff while you're streaming, sir? Here you go. Here's your hydrate. And then here is your stretch.
not me being in both streams. I know you're in both streams, Kyria. I have Phil's stream up on my other monitor. You're not- you ain't slick. I'm gonna hold on real quick. We gotta- we gotta redeem stuff. Hehehe, <laughs> there we go. Um... 10k points? What are you gonna even redeem? I don't have it- I don't really have any, like... Worthy redeems, I don't think. Yet, at least. I have like a whole list of redeems that people suggested when I first started streaming. And I'm planning on like, I don't want to put new redeems all at once. So I'm probably going to do a few at a time. Um, So like I'll add a few one month and then I'll wait another month to add a few more. Yes, retaliation. <laughs> we Obviously, since you gave me a hydrate and stretch, I got to make sure you're- Wait, no! Damn it! I thought I- No! <laughs> God fucking damn it! Why you do this to me? <laughs> I thought I took that one away. I cry. No, that's quality timing. Hello, Red. This is so mean. Um. God damn it. It's so awkward, though. The sing redeem is so awkward. Was it five minutes? Uh, let me put on a timer. My sing talk is so awkward though. I feel so robotic because it's just going up and down. Oh, Mario, hi chat. Hello, Hope. How are you doing? Just sing to the rhythm of Rickroll. <clears throat> I'm going to be like Saga. And just be super awkward about it. And you guys are totally gonna regret ever wanting to do a sing mode redeem. Just get into the rhythm of the night. Okay, maybe maybe I try to just do it based off of whatever song is playing on this on the Spotify. Okay. Alright, we'll just we'll just start now. If your guys' ears bleed, it's not my fault. Where was I? Um. <laughs> you added those redeems, recommended or not. I totally thought that I turned them off. We love when the streamer's in an awkward, funny situation. Don't worry. Well, I worry. <laughs> Ema, why would you love this? You're such a cute no. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys doing this to me? You're such a cutie, Mari. That's not exactly a compliment. I don't know what you're talking about, Hope. But I guess I'll take it. Spock up. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> know what that was oh, I am so dying <laughs> we're just gonna have you sing a lot of messages now non why would you do that to me it probably doesn't help that I'm drinking hot chocolate 
And my throat is a little bit constricted right now. <laughs> I am I am like dying right now. Non why why do you love this? <laughs> Kai Kun, hello. How are you, how are you doing? You're doing great, Mari? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Shouldn't you be over at a certain jorts boys? No, Phil, Phil, God damn it. I hope you're satisfied. I will get you back later. <laughs> Adorable soon soon. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how red my face is right now. <laughs> I have such a big smile on my face, IRL. <laughs> Guys, is it get getting warm in here or is it just me? I think it's just me. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm there. Guy, I can see you. I have him up on my other monitor. Bet I'll be waiting. Oh, you'll see. Just you wait and see. But yeah, that's what I've been building up for a while. But Hope, why would you do this to me? Thank you for the image, Mayari. You are very welcome, Nun. God bless hump day. <laughs> Thank you for the posture check. My posture is immaculate. There is no shrimping here. <laughs> you wanted to hear the shrimping mess sentence in singing mode. It's like gla GLaDOS? Or is it GLaDOS? I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even know what that is. So Mari, how have you been enjoying Pokemon? Because you totally have it. Wait, I am so confused right now. Oh my god, can these 30 seconds go any faster? And yes, Kai, I can see you in Phil's chat. <laughs> Listening to Little Orchid singing mode is actually really nice. Why? <laughs> it's really cute, actually. No. Nor. Nor. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. No more. No more. No more. I'm retiring. I'm retiring, guys. Stream over. <laughs> Um, where was I? Pokemon Violet or Scarlet, whichever one. Uh, I, I actually recently bought Pokemon Violet, but it doesn't come until Sunday. What if, but what if Mari, what if I have points to, Kyria, why would you do this to me? Why, why would any of you guys do, why would you guys want to be subjected to that train wreck? That was terrible. Isn't Mari... Kai, Kai, you are not exempt. You're not- you're not allowed to call me cute just because it's on someone else's stream. What the fuck? Calm down, I only have 4.5... K. Mm, mm, maybe- what if I just- what if I just take- what if I just take off singing mode forever? <laughs> it's one thing to sing a- a chorus or a verse to a song where there's actual lyrics and an actual assigned melody but sing mode bro that's just so awkward may i call you cute here absolutely not a absolutely not <laughs> if we all save up 10k then she'll have to sing for an entire stream no 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 <laughs> watch me just put a cap on it right now <laughs> oh my god Okay, but Mari is cute. Say that one more time, Kira. Say that one more time. See what happens. 
I've gotten timed out for it. Exactly. Anyone, anyone who knows, I don't actually really like being called cute, but still calls me cute. They're getting timed out. They're getting bonked. Uh, but thank you for the care package, Eighth. Here is your hydrate. And here is your stretch. <clears throat> and there is no shrimping here because my posture is immaculate. Damn, being bong for complimenting SMH. Why don't you like being called cute? Okay. You guys want you guys want like story time? Story time. I don't actually like the real reason why I don't really like being called cute. Like, sure, it's fine every once in a while, and I do like this bit where I hate being where I just like completely fight being called cute, but I have had people who overly latch onto and excessively call me cute to the point that every single conversation, every other sentence goes back to them just calling me cute to the point that like, I don't know, it just makes me think that that's all they ever really see when they're talking to me, and that's definitely not all I am, and it just gets really annoying. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's gone to the point where like, just like the word in general, part of it kind of like, part of it makes me uncomfortable, and part of it just like, annoys me. That's why, that's why I don't really like being called cute. I can see how that bit gets annoying. Hmm, I wonder who one of the biggest offenders is though, Kyria. Hmm? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, but you are cute. Leah! <laughs> it's been a little while, and then the first thing you come in my chat to say is, I'm cute? How dare you? And that's definitely not all you are. You are sweet and adorable. Oh my god. No, no, no. But that's just one part of you. You definitely, you're definitely so much more, and we see so much more in you too. Well, I appreciate that, Nan. I mean, obviously, there are. I appreciate everyone who, you know, just kind of talks to me like a normal person. But I've just dealt with so many people who continuously just like call me cute or adorable, and as if like that's just like a filler of what they say when they don't know what else to say, and it gets a bit much after a while. If you told me sooner, I wouldn't be a big fender. Mm, mm-hmm. Sure, Kyria. <laughs> I think I'm starting to understand your situation a bit more now. Oh, shoot. Shit, shoot. Sorry. I forgot. I forgot I reset the timer. Um, why? Is someone is someone doing that to you, Red? But yes, Leah, how, how have you been? How is your day? Do you have any... Um, do you have any plans for Thanksgiving? Or the weekend. We love you for who you are and your content. I won't call you that word for a while, I promise, especially since I'm kinda in the same boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember I remember you had that one thing where you were only allowing people to call you cute for a certain amount of time. What was that even for, Hope? Can I ask? I refrain from calling you cute, but I get the same reaction as sweet and adorable. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I kind of I kind of put them in the same boat, but definitely cute is the biggest is the biggest one. I see what you mean. I understand though. I think you are lovely and I think you're cute. Mm. <laughs> I will still continuously fight it, but thank you. I appreciate that, Leah. I understand if it was from a partner, but from friends, they definitely need to understand when to calm it down. Bro, even if it was from a partner, I don't I don't know if I'd be able to um, I'd be able to handle it that much uh, just because of the feelings that I associate with the word now. Let's go into Curious Stream and throw pickup lines at them. <laughs> oh my god, Hima, the one time we did that on Kai's stream, should we do that on Curious Stream? 
I'm Canadian, so I had Thanksgiving in October. Mm -mm. And I work this weekend? Oh, uh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Do you... Do you have, um... Do you, do you like, do you like your work? Is your work at least kind of fun? <laughs> How's your art been, though? I haven't, I haven't, I've tried not to be on Twitter too much, so I haven't been able to see a lot of people's posts. Uh, I work retail, so no, oof. Okay, never mind. I get that life. <laughs> I think I only really worked like one or two retail jobs and I swear I never want to go back. <laughs> now I don't have the same problem, but at least I get why you hate it now. Mm. Mm, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's also, um... It also really has to do with, uh... So, okay, I don't know if, how many people, how many of you know, but I'm demisexual. Basically meaning, like, I don't, I don't get any feelings romantic or sexual for anyone unless we've already had, like, an established bond. So pretty much, I'm like, I only really fall for friends. I got, I got, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm homosexual. <laughs> but I've had multiple cases where as soon as someone, like, admits their feelings for me, they no longer start they no longer like act like a friend and they all they ever see is like a potential partner and that's when they always start calling me cute and stuff and it got really annoying to the point where like i've had to kind of distance myself from a few people unfortunately i'm not cute i'm chaotic oro's clip proves just that <laughs> i mean chaotic can be cute too Especially, especially when a person, especially when like the chaos itself is cute. Kyria, you're kind of, you're kind of adorable. Can we replace the term demisexual with homosexual? I mean, that's kind of what I just, that's just what I call it now. Instead of saying demisexual, usually I just say homosexual now. <laughs> Man, fuck, fuck them kids. <laughs> Kai. <laughs> How are you feeling, by the way? Makes sense, sorry that did happen though. It is the reason why I declined compliments as well. Not because it was excessive, but because many lied and spoke behind my back. <gasps> that's terrible. Little orchid, I know exactly what that's like. I'm demisexual as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the first things we, uh, I don't want to say clicked, but like that was one of like the first similarities that we noticed between us. That we were both demisexual. I mean, that's basically what it is. Yeah, yeah, homosexual. It's just fun to say too, homosexual. As dem as a demisexual, this is this statement's very true. <laughs> I know. I'm actually um surprised. Well, I don't want to say surprised, but like, as soon as I kind of like figured out what I was, and kind of put that label on it. Then I, I started meeting so many more people who were like that, and which is pretty cool. Compliments are gross. <laughs> you know what's really funny, Hima, is like no one's really been in the compliments channel that much in the server, which I find funny. Mari, Mari, want to see something? Uh, depends. What is this something that you want to show me, Kyria? To me, it's the same thing with like, babe or baby. I think those words are cringe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel like there are a lot of, um, there are definitely a lot of words that, like, I find cringe. Like, like the word sexy. Ugh. Like, I, like, sexy is supposed to mean a certain way or a certain, a certain thing, right? But to me, it's just like, it's just very cringe. And whenever someone tries to be quote unquote sexy, I kind of just laugh. Check Discord, no showing on stream. Kyria, you know, I probably wasn't going to show it on stream anyway. <laughs> uh, but give me a second. I think I was the last one to post in there. Hima, I, I bet you were. When I call someone cute, I mean it as a term of endearment, like sweet, nice, appealing, I guess, if that makes sense. Sorry, I didn't realize you like disliked it that much. No, 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 no. I mean like, um, like I'm not, I'm not like, uh, I'm not like upset with you or anything and it definitely is meant to be something like that like I do associate it with like someone being like um 
like what you said sweet nice stuff like that and it is supposed to be like a compliment but i think just like with my experience with it it kind of lost its meaning hello zach how are you doing no kiria this is so nice it's really adorable i love i love these kinds i love i love the ones with the big hearts they're always so cute There are a lot of things I thought cringe too. When I got into audios, I actually started liking them instead of feels weird, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I used to not be into ASMR. Like, I used to hate it. But that's also because my first exposure to it was eating ASMR. And I am not about those, those eating sounds. And the only reason I got into ASMR was because I was actually looking for videos to study more on on like voice acting and then i just found someone's asmr roleplay audio and i was and i was v curious about it and then i just fell into this rabbit hole and then now here i am <laughs> you went to sleep at 7 a.m zach <laughs> oh my god you have nine other sketches too, but I don't want to show them all yet. That's fair. That's fair. Do you have a uh, Do you have an estimate of when, of when you're able to get all of them, or when they're all going to be done? Because getting those is super exciting. Mari mukbang when? Uh, never, because I hate eating sounds. <laughs> Who goes to sleep at seven a.m.? Surely not me. Phil, Phil, shut up. Phil, how many shots are you up to now? Huh? Good for you. I don't even remember how I got into them. <laughs> Wait, Saga, what? <laughs> Wait, Saga, why are you like this? <laughs> Thank you for the 6-9 <laughs> bits. I appreciate you. 4 a.m. from 7 a.m. the day before. <sighs> You know, 8th, I've tried. I've tried getting Zach to be on a sleep schedule. It, it does not work. It absolutely does not work. Hello, hello! How are you doing? How are you doing? It has been a while. How's your day been? Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Do you have any plans for Thanksgiving? If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, do you have any plans for the weekend? <laughs> Also, I don't think I remember- I don't remember, um, if you had a preferred name to be called. I'm trying to write down everybody's name now. Saga! <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub! I appreciate you, baby blub. You're so sweet. My flipper slipped? Mm. I see, I see how it is. <laughs> I don't have an estimate of when they're going to be finished, but... Leah! <laughs> Leah, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. Oh my gosh. You guys. Uh, you guys. <laughs> Why? I'm not, I wasn't, I'm not prepared for this. Uh, even when they're finished, I still have to get affiliate. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, so what's the um, is it just the uh, is it just the average viewer that we still need to get for you? Because I'm pretty sure you have over fo uh, 50 followers now, right, Kyria? I've tried sticking to mine, hasn't worked. <laughs> Leo, you're so sweet. Yeah? Okay, okay. We're we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you there, Kyria. Don't worry, don't worry. Choo choo. <laughs> Saga, are you like this? <laughs> uh, you can call me Fenris and only weekend plans, meaning good friends. Mm -mm -mm. Do you guys have, um... Fenris? Or should I stick with Fen? Fren? Fen? <laughs> uh, do you guys have a plan on what you guys are gonna do for the weekend? When you guys meet up? Uh, hello, Effect. How are you doing? How are you? How are you? How's your day? Do you have plans for Thanksgiving and or the weekend? 
if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. The Mari streams trade offer be like, I, Mari, receive your love and affection. You receive a destroyed sleep schedule. <laughs> Scope, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will say though, I am playing around with stream times. Um, because I know I have, I have friends in time zones that are way ahead of me, including, inc including like the UK and in Australia. But I don't know. I'm playing. I'm still playing around with them. It's late and I'm melting to your voice. I'm falling asleep. Saga. <laughs> well, I hope you have pleasant dreams, baby blub. Sleep well. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Al. <laughs> Are you still- are you guys still prepping for tomorrow? Yes, Fen works well, especially with- <laughs> with Straubs. Yeah. And just lots of gaming and catching up. We've not seen each other since I went to my current job. Mmm, -mm. I see, I see, I see. I'll give you- I'll give you all the Straubs. And give you headpats, Fen. Good, good, buying a branch of parts for my next PC build. Nothing crazy planned for the weekend. Mmm. I want to I wanna eventually be able to build my own PC. Because um, the one I have right now, it's like a custom pre-built. Uh, but because I just wanted to get like a PC for gaming and streaming. Um, but I do eventually want to build my own uh, with like and buy like the individual parts. And maybe I'll do like a PC building stream, which I think might be fun. And then when I get my own PC, then I'll probably just give this one to my family. I've been quote unquote trying to fix my sleep schedule for like the past two weeks because it actually just generally caused me problems. Oh no. My average like heart rate went up too and I get physically exhausted faster. Yeah, yeah, that I definitely can relate to. Mostly afraid for my eyes because my far sight started to get blurry at some point. Oh no, no, that's, that's definitely not good. Okay, we need new new plan of action. Non, we get you to sleep as much as you can. <laughs> Is there anything that helps you fall asleep? Like, obviously, like some people listen to ASMR. Um, but I don't know, like melatonin or like music or like white noise. Well, I just added sound alerts and I have the Mari sneeze on. <laughs> Wait, 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 no, Kyria! <laughs> tell me, tell me you're joking, you don't actually have that one sneeze from the clip, do you? Bro, bro, why you do this to me? Last night I watched the movie and the finale to a show, both were 10 for 10. Wait, wait, which one's then? I'm, I, I keep, I'm just like, it's an ever building list, but you know, I always like recommendations. I'm still going through your music rec stack, by the way. I just keep forgetting to respond to you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, still prepping, but had to drive my sister around. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yes, oh, all the straws. <laughs> no, no, not cute. Not cute, Blue. I'll give me the recipe for your pumpkin bread, please. Yeah, Al. That bread looks so good. Get your own. I want to build a PC with you, Mari. Honestly, say, when I pl when I eventually do build a PC, I was actually, you're one of like the few people I was actually going to ask, like, I was going to call up and help, like, like, I was gonna get you in a VC so you could hold my hand while I'm building it. <laughs> I actually do. I haven't touched it since. Bruh. Bruh, why? Why, Kyria? Unfortunately, I had to leave right before sing mode, so I'll have to go back and watch the part. Al, no, that's okay, that's okay. You don't have to. You absolutely do not have to. It's fine. <laughs> this is another one, but I found that people humming puts me to sleep abnormally fast. Really? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense too. Like, um, when I was younger, you know how like some parents, they like sing lullabies to their kids to get them to go to sleep. My mom, she had, she hummed lullabies instead of singing them because she never knew the words. Um, but yeah, humming, humming is very soothing too. Let's do it. That's what I did with my other friend though. They just rebuilt their PC a couple weeks ago. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially since I have no idea about PC, PC parts. Well, I mean, I have basic knowledge, but it would definitely help to have people who probably know more about what they're doing. So it's you and Phil, and maybe if I can rope Damon in too. <laughs> 
melatonin, CBD, and listening to Two Moons by Toe. Toe? Wait, Toe, is that a band of person? It's an actual off button for me? Interesting. The movie that I watched was All Quiet on the Western Front, and the show I watched was is Andor. I heard Andor is good. I still haven't watched it, but I heard it's good. I think my mom was actually watching it the other day. I just finished Andor season one a few hours ago. Ooh, how did you like it, Scope? All Quiet on the Western Front had one or two scenes that kind of fucked me up. Fuck you, like, like in a good way or in a bad way, Zach? Like, did it hit you in the feel? Humming is very soothing. Yes, humming is very soothing. Especially if it's like a familiar tune also. Like, there's just... I don't know if you guys know the know Brahms lullaby. But that's the, that's the lullaby my mom used to sing to us all the time. And I want to get a music box with it. Um... And I did not know until like a few months ago that it actually had lyrics to it. <laughs> but I think I like the humming version better. Damon and Bard helped me choose my PC parts. Now it's just a matter now it's just a matter of getting them. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toe is a math. Wait, math rock band from Japan? What does that mean? What does math rock mean? And were so incredibly good, it hit you in the field. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's the good kind of fucked you up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very- when it come when people say that, like, um, that something, like, got to them or, like, made them really emotional, I feel like- I feel- I always feel like I'm, like, just really weird because not a lot of things get me emotional. So, like, a certain movie that a lot of my friends have said, like, made them cry or anything, like, I've, or I've also seen and I, like, felt nothing <laughs> i'm just i'm actually just heartless guys is it that bad i'm not sure it's just my mind has to get tired now like i stay awake because my mind wants to okay somehow i don't get it but at the same time i want to sleep it's just weird and i end up staying awake with my phone it became a habit at this point okay well first off get off your phone <laughs> because one, the brain just like it's just gonna keep stimulating your brain, and also the light from it is is not is not good for you. Um, try try. Can you like? I I still say like maybe like just like maybe listen to music or try reading a book before you go to bed, but definitely stay off your phone. And if you turn on a TV, don't like watch the TV, but just keep it on as background noise. That's my that's my suggestion. I'm in love with the wolf's lullaby for no reason. Wait, wolf's lullaby? I thought Ender was pretty good. I'm still waiting for the Emperor to show up in the Senate in season 2 though. Oh, who am I kidding? He already is the Senate, isn't he? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. I asked Ellie if she could hum me to sleep in VC. That's super, that's super adorable, Aeth. Recently, and she said I was out instantly, quote, tiny snores and, ha and happy whimpers. <laughs> oh. My face was super red when she said that. It's really nice, though, that you're comfortable enough to, like, fall asleep with someone on VC. I actually, like, some people think it's real. it's, like, embarrassing to do that or rude. I just think it's really cute, honestly. Fine, I have all the chefs in the kitchen for that PC. I'll be in the wings, but with two people, you should be more than Gucci. No, but say, but say, listen, listen, say. What if I want you, though? I'm not emotional when it comes to movies or series either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we're just we're just very similar in a lot of ways, Aeth. That's too many people. Okay, fine. What if what if it's just I've been there, done that. Okay, what if it's just you then, huh? What if it's just you? Mari's saying, "Put down the phone." Listen, 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 Phil. Listen. Shut up. Don't shouldn't you be focusing on not dying so you don't accumulate more more shots? Math rock is like pro progressive rock inspired guitar riffs and unconventional harmonies and time signatures. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna look that up later because that because because now I'm curious what that sounds like. Things that get me emotional are usually triggers for past stuff. I think I'm pretty much the same. Like, the only thing that really gets me emotional is stuff that, like, reminds me 
of things from my past or like things that I can really relate to. I see the similarities as well. Yeah, we have a lot of them. Nah, nah, Phil and Diddy are the way. Say, say you just don't want to hang out with me. This is, this is, this is what, this is what he's actually saying. He actually doesn't want to hang out with me. It's fine. I guess I'll just run to Phil in day. I will be in the wings. This, this man, this man, I literally say I want him to help me and he says, nah, I'll be in the wings. I'm gonna go cry in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Only things that get me emotional are discussing instances of my most irrational fear. Wait. The only things that get me emotional are discussing instances. You mean like like where you had to deal with that fear? Is that what you mean, Eighth? I can't take that away from Phil and Damon. My schedule is booked. See, he actually doesn't want to hang out with me. It's fine. It's fine. I understand. Mm -hmm. I lost my train of thought, though. Yeah, I can get really bad at times if the discussion doesn't end. Oh no! Wait, okay, I kind of want to ask so I can avoid it, but I also don't want to bring it up. <laughs> can I ask? Can I ask you in DMs later what it is so I can avoid it? <laughs> Alright, I'm about to carry you in Pokemon Terror Raids when you get Pokemon Violet. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> Bro, I still- Terror Raids are like, um... Those are similar to like in Pokemon, what is it, Sword and Shield, like the Dynamax raids? Is that what they were called? I haven't really gotten past- I haven't even gotten past the third gym in Pokemon Shield. Those who try to deny their, mo their emotions often feel them the most deeply. Mmm. Yeah, I can see that. I can def see that. Like, I feel like a not, not a lot of things uh, quote unquote trigger me, but the things that do, they they tend to really hit me. I think me having gotten Twitch back was the cause of this. <laughs> Aww. Well, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We love having you here. Yeah, it's similar to that, but they feel less hard, but I also haven't unlocked six star raids yet, so who knows? I don't even know I don't even know what that means, Kyria. Why are you- why are you giving me all these spoilers? Hi, Mari. Hello, prankster. How are you doing? Been a while, but I've lurked when I could. Hope you're doing well, you sweet bean. Oh no, you're the sweet bean. <laughs> prankster, are you- do you celebrate- do you celebrate, uh, Thanksgiving? Do you have plans for Thanksgiving? Alternatively, if you don't, do you have plans for the weekend? I'm kind of hesitant to get the new Pokemon games because all the bugs that I've seen. Okay, but honestly, everybody says like, like, like obviously the bugs do exist, but everyone that I've seen play or know that has the game, the bugs aren't literally, don't take away from how much fun they're having. So honestly, Zach, I say if you even, like, if you want to get the game, then just get the game. <laughs> I wish I could avoid my triggers, but they're super hard to avoid. Cry. I'm so sorry, Al. <laughs> and it's really hard for others to avoid them as well. Mm. Wait, have we talked about this at all, Al? Like, like in our DMs, have we talked about your triggers so that I can better avoid them? They're just graphical bugs mainly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard too. Zach, I, I don't think you'll have any problem. Well, you won't have any major problems. I think you'll be having too much fun to really care too much about them. I always just ignore strong emotions when I know they won't get me anywhere good or anywhere in general. 
I mean, I can see, I can definitely see that point, but for me personally, I think it's always good to take time to process those emotions. That way, they don't sneak up on you later. Because, you know, like the whole thing with balling up your emotions, eventually they just pile up and they fester, and then they just explode. They just explode out of you at the most inconvenient or random times. Yeah, I do. I work on Thursday, but gonna be with my family for some food on Sunday. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Do you have a favorite dish that you like to eat or make? No, but we can later. Okay, bet. Bet, bet, bet. But yeah, if you want to ask about it, you may. That goes to everyone else in DMs. Okay, I'll probably DM you later. I mean, all most of you guys are in my DMs anyway. <laughs> Aside from the bugs, I'm enjoying Scarlet. I did get glitched into a cave wall and was stuck in the void for about half an hour. <laughs> I did hear someone who kind of like just like fell through the floor like one time. I didn't actually see it myself, but I think that's really funny. Just like some of the Genshin glitches where someone can just like glitch and walk underneath the water. <laughs> I'm super basic. I like turkey. <laughs> Question, do you put stuffing in the turkey? Is that actually a thing? Because I'm still not, um, I'm still not very knowledgeable on quote unquote traditional Thanksgiving dishes. I'm not in your DMs. I mean, Emrys, do you want to be in my DMs? Doesn't, if, if anyone wants to be in my DMs, my DMs are open. Just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, they explode at me when I overthink at night, which doesn't happen anymore for the record because I spend time with you guys. <laughs> Well, if that if if that is beneficial to you and it helps you out, then I am glad that I can be of some help in even if it's in a small way. I'm just saying be careful having battles in the caves. That's how I got stuck. Okay, so we avoid caves for the time being. Okay. You got uppies and DMs. Phil. <laughs> yes, I want uppies. I still want uppies. Uh, the void is a good place, like the breakfast nook. Wait, breakfast nook, good for the wolf to sleep? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, you meant in Pokemon. <laughs> then, come on. No, I don't put stuffing in turkey. My mom and grandma do, though. Wait, so... When you guys sell it, when you guys... Um, have like a meal together, does the turkey have, have stuffing or no? I'm confused. Also, what is what what goes in stuffing? Like what makes up stuffing? I'm still confused about that too. Slides into Mari's DMs. Hima, you Hima, you are always welcome in my DMs. In my DMs, in my arms, and in my heart. I got a screenshot when my grammar in a raid battle was duplicated and spawned in front of the raid Pokemon facing me, so it was funny can't trust nobody, not even yourself. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Okay, never mind. False alarm. This sneeze was just gaslighting me. Um. Also, there's a story. There's story stuff that requires being in caves, so IDK. Well, I mean, I hope there's still story stuff. Like, I love open world, the open world concept, but at the heart of the heart of most games, I'm still very much a fan of stories. The turkey doesn't have anything to anything in it. They add it if they want. Oh, okay. So is it like a side thing? It's like a side dish that you add. Because then, why is it called stuffing? I got Twitch back for you. Pretty sure it's more than just a small way. I appreciate you a lot, you know? Aw, non. Well, I appreciate- I appreciate you. It's always nice seeing you uh, show up in chat and just hanging out with me. Gamma! Thank you for the follow and welcome to the guild. I hope you enjoy your stay. How are you? <laughs> stuff- stuff makes up stuffing well. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Scope. Thank you. I absolutely did not know that. You know, the more you know. Hima, how's it going? Not bad, not bad. How are you, mijo? Are you doing anything for Thanksgiving? 
I'm pretty sure stuffing is just bread and herbs and butter. Okay, I wasn't sure if like there are different kinds of stuffing, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I do remember the f the one time I did try stuffing. It was very it was very bready, and salty, and I hated it. It was really gross. Blech. Gonna lie back with the dog in my lap. Still be here. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Have um have a nice lurk. Eighth, of, as always, I appreciate you. And give the doggo a pat for me. Por favor. Abusive sneeze, honestly. Yeah. Do you guys, like, you guys get those sneezes where, like, you think it's coming? And then you're just waiting for it and then it doesn't come? And then you think you're safe and then it does come? Guys. Sneezes. Sneezes are little bitches. Yeah, we eat it as a side dish. Do you ever just like eat it on its own then? Do you just like put it on your plate and just like eat it by the spoonful? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know if anyone likes it likes to eat it like that, but I think that's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, about anyone else, I do know you can put stuffing into the turkey. Yeah, yeah, I f okay, I feel like that's like, that's why it's called stuffing, right? Because you put it in the turkey. But I guess if not everybody likes likes the stuffing, then obviously it goes on the side. But when you like cut the turkey, you cut it from like the sides and from the top. Like you don't even get the stuffing unless you like scoop it out. Food? Food confuses me. Yeah, having my cousins over. How about you? Me, I... Okay, I originally was gonna go to my aunt's house because it would have been the first time we spent any holiday with extended family. But the aunt that we were supposed to go, like um, the aunt we were visiting, her, her kiddos are sick, and then an aunt from another family that would have joined us, she's also sick, so we just scrapped, we just scrapped the, all the plans. So I have no family, I have no holiday plans uh, tomorrow or this weekend anymore. So I am kind of reworking my schedule right now, because I originally was planning stuff around that. Um, I also lost my place in chat. Cry. Stuffing can be anything though. Okay, so can I just like cut up a whole bunch of things and then put it in a container and call it stuffing? Marshmallow stuffing, dough stuffing, fruit stuffing, meat stuffing, lots of stuffing. <laughs> I mean, that's true. I mean, that's kind of the same way with salad though. Like obviously salad uh, traditionally and mainly is like like the green salad. But if you cut up a bunch of things and just toss them, you can, call, you can technically call it also salad. I slid into your DMs, Mari. <laughs> did you? Wait, did you slide into my DMs on Twitter or something? I'm going to look right now. Bro, OMG, you did. <laughs> okay, I respond- I accepted and responded before I forget. Because sometimes- sometimes I'll see message requests and I'll say I'll respond to them later and then I totally forget. Um, abusive sneeze. <laughs> I know, sneezes are- Honestly, sneezes are also like the worst because I never know if it's gonna be my quote-unquote soft cute sneeze or if it's gonna be like my dad's sneezes that kind of like sound like an explosion. The worst sneezes are the ones that almost come out and leave that terrible tingly feeling in yours. <gasps> oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or like, like, like the kind of feeling you get where when you accidentally like inhale pepper or something while you're cooking. Uh, my sister's pits- my sister pits a bunch- oh, puts a bunch of stuffing and mashed potato between two pieces of bread and calls it a sandwich. Bro, my brother, he puts rice and ketchup and fries in between two pieces of bread and calls it a sandwich. So, <laughs> I- I understand. <laughs> it's worse when you have multiple sneeze at once, like not in a row, but at once. Wait, what? Feels like you're just like, and then just no. <laughs> Don't do that, bad body, bad human body. Sneezing, okay, sneezing when you're doing something. Um, like, 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 uh, like driving. That's just, it's so scary, guys. It's, it's the, it's the scariest thing. Especially if you're going, like, on a highway and, like, cars are starting to slow down or they're getting real close to you. Oof. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope, hope your aunts and cousins feel better soon. Thank you, thank you, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's, like... It's definitely not corona or anything. Um, I think they're just getting like, it's like cold and flu season, 
but yeah, I'm hoping for a fast recovery for them too. Um, stuffing is the stuff we made along the- Phil, what? <laughs> Phil, how many times have you died? I was only lucky that we're having Thanksgiving lunch and not the Thanksgiving dinner. Otherwise, my stream plans would be fucked because I wasn't told ahead of time. Mmm, yeah, yeah. I mean, I kinda- I kinda assumed most people had plans on Thanksgiving, so I just kind of planned not to do anything for Thanksgiving. As far as, um, streaming and content goes. Give me a salad, but instead of greens, give me meat. All the meat. <laughs> I should just get- should I just give you, like, thin slices of meat, Fen? And then I'll just put, like, a sauce on top as the quote-unquote dressing. <laughs> So your weekend plan plans aren't what they were meant to be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that had I I will admit that had that took me a second. <laughs> oh my god, scope. Imagine people wanting to slide into your DMs. Prankster, do you want me to slide into your DMs? Is that is is this is that what you want? My sneezes are very loud, so I usually aim at the floor. I mean, if you're sneezing, you should be aiming to you should be aiming at the inside of your arm or in a tissue. <laughs> What? Rice ketchup and fries. Yes, rice ketchup and fries. My brother is has very weird taste buds. I don't question it anymore. Yeah, I'm definitely on the explosive side of sneezes, and there's always two. But I found a way to cancel sneezes when I need. Wait, you found a way to cancel sneezes? Can you share with the class what what this method is? Everybody here be talking about food. I'm just here like, what's food? <laughs> Zach, what's food? What's sleep? Is there something that you that you are familiar with? Question mark. I thought you were about to say sneezing while doing while doing it. I was supposed to say Mari, this is Twitch, and that would be gross if doing it from behind. <laughs> Kiria, I'm pretty sure you're the you're just the one with the sus brain enough times mm. i'll probably just i'm probably just gonna scroll up in chat in your chat phil and see how many times they've they've counted i'm gonna head out wanted to see how you're doing you realized i wasn't following oh well <laughs> have a good stream well thank you miho i appreciate you and i will well we should catch up we should catch up sometime i'll i'll message you on discord I have to plan around my Thanksgiving and other holidays normally due to work. Mmm, yeah. That makes sense, that makes sense. Like sneezing not in a row, it's just rapid fire, no break. Insanely annoying, especially when with others. Yeah, I, I totally get that. And it's just your whole body tensing up again while <laughs> the seconds you literally cannot control. I think it's so funny when you have to like sneeze really rapidly because you know how you close your eyes when you sneeze? I think it's just like, like close your eyes, open them for a little bit and then close your eyes again. <laughs> And like I tend to um I tend to bow my head a little bit when I sneeze so it just looks like I'm like rapid fire nodding. Yes, I request this please. <laughs> okay, well what kind of sauce slash dressing do you want on your quote unquote salad fen? Awesome, I'm still making my way to the fort gym. Got a team of six, but still stuck with a char cadet. Honestly, I I have not been keeping up with Pokemon since pearl and diamond so i don't know like any of the new pokemon <laughs> all i know is i want grass kitty what is food what is sleep what is stuffing hey i know i know what food is i know what sleep is what are you talking about i just don't know what stuffing is <laughs> you'd be surprised some people generally think i don't have a sussy side okay obviously those people don't know you then kiria you're just lying to those people <laughs> i'm pretty sure the sussy side is the majority of you <laughs> hundred percent if you time it right and pinch the bridge of your nose right before you sneeze like when you take the big breath you can cancel them or it works for me interesting okay i'm gonna i'm gonna try that next time i have to sneeze i'm gonna you said pinch okay pinch the bridge of your nose right before when you're taking the big breath okay 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 No, like Damon thought I didn't have a sussy side. You know why? Because Damon's also not on Twitter. Bruh. It's the people who don't in really interact with you on Twitter. Everyone who does knows you're sus. You know, I heard about canceling out yawns by tensing up your toes. Wait. 
Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so like... Wait, the gag reflex? So you cancel out the gag reflex by tensing up your toes? Guys, my, my search history later is gonna about, is about to be really weird. You would slide for little old me? You're, it's not little old you, you're a special prankster. I love it, I want to make her the fire ghost sword- wait, the fire ghost swordsman? Oh, 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 okay, I think I know which Pokemon you're talking about. Watch me be completely wrong though. <laughs> It's like rapid fire sneeze in a row, but at once as in the sneezes blending into each other. And the next one literally beginning in the middle of the other, bro. That just sounds- okay, at that point, that just kind of sounds like it hurts. Oh, sus side? Few and far between are the people who've seen my sus side. Yeah, because Al, you're just an osito. You're just a big old teddy bear. Damon's out getting the gains. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I got I haven't asked him in a while how how his personal training stuff is going. Maybe I should ask him later. Um and like make it so you can't breathe out of your nose and timing can be tricky and sometimes they rebel and return quickly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we can all just agree that sneezes are the absolute worst. Oh, or especially when you can't hold in a sneeze and you're trying and you're supposed to be in like a really quiet place. That's always that's always kind of awkward. All of you are sussy. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure everyone has a sus side. Some people just are more open about it. It sometimes works, mostly doesn't. Sometimes for me, I get so freaking. Wait, I get to freaking swallow my sneeze through my nose, bro. That sounds super painful. <laughs> My sus side rarely shows. Yeah, some people are super good at hiding it. The inverse sneeze. <laughs> it does hurt a bit, but it's the same as if you would just cough very aggressive on purpose. Oh, yeah, that still hurts though. Coughing actually kind of, coughing always hurts me. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I like, I messed up my throat in the past, but whenever I, I cough, it kind of feels like I'm scratching uh, kind of like a cut in the back of my throat. I don't know. It's sad. I'm not sus. I resent that claim. Mm, the people who say they're not sus are the most sus. I hope you know that. Who told you? You know too much? Hima knows everything, except Hima's also giving away the secrets, just like measuring men's flesh. Sus, I have no sus, and very wholesome wolf, Fen. <laughs> Fen, I'm not even gonna comment. <laughs> Coughing is very bad for the voice. There are a lot of things actually that are very bad for the voice. But people don't actually realize it, so they do a bunch of these things anyway. Like, like whispering for an excessive amount of time. X? Wait, what's X? Wait, X to what? No sus. <laughs> the name is in your username, so sus. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Hello, Akuma, you're excused. <laughs> How's my favorite bonehead? Have you been keeping track of how many shots Phil has to take, by the way? I'm not sus, and I'm actually not. Maybe a little because of others, but I'm generally not, unless I do it on purpose. That still just sounds like you have a sus side, though. <laughs> <laughs> X for doubt. Yeah, I know it's X for doubt, Jay, but I mean like what's the X for doubt for? What is he doubting? The ones who say they're not sus or the most sus is X, Phil. Phil, I'm not gonna even comment on that. Okay, Hima, what's my flesh size? I bet you don't know how thick my skin is. Bro, I I think you missed the whole thing, Kyria. We'd have to go be there to measure you. That's what hugging is for. What, by Loki, I'm innocent? Are you though? Are you friend? 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 Friendo? <laughs> Are you Fen? Just a tiny bit, involuntarily. Mm, okay, okay, I see. I'm fine, and no, I have not working. We were at 20. 
then stopped. Also, what was that about flesh? Oh, don't worry about it, Akuma. It has nothing to do with you anyway, since, you know, you're a skeleton and all. Also, you literally made me whisper earlier. You you hurting my voice. Hey, 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 hey. You put that redeem there. That's all I'm saying. Also, hello, Mal. Thank you for the hydrate. Give me a second. There we go. Like, what counts as sus? I mean, I guess that depends on, like, a person. Um. But. I don't know, yeah. Because people have different measurements of different things on, like, what's sus and stuff. But I think for the most part, what's sus is... I don't know, anything that can be considered, like, lewd or scandalous? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I am brain, brain empty. You see, my dear, women press themselves against men when hugging to measure if they can't consume their flesh. Exactly, exactly! Although, I thought that was supposed to be- I thought that was supposed to be a secret, Hima, but I guess we're just flaunting it all out now. Twitch is bullying me again? Zach, when does Twitch not bully you? But I'm sorry. I, I wish- I wish Twitch- I wish Twitch would stop bullying you. Is it something on like- is it always Twitch both on like phone and PC? Or is it usually one or the other? Wait, hugging is for measuring people's skin thickness now? Perhaps. Perhaps. It is how we survive. <laughs> Some zombie shit, I say. Maybe we are zombies. Maybe, maybe women are just zombies because men just drain the life out of us. I still have a meat suit I wear in public, so yeah, maybe it does concern you. <laughs> that's true, that's true. I do get to... I do get to see this quote-unquote meat suit in a little over a week, right? Wait, Akuma, are you still gonna let me hug you? Question mark? Please? You wouldn't deprive me of that, right? Twitch wasn't bullying you for a few weeks before? I wonder what it is then. Like, I wonder if it's something on Twitch's end or if it's like your network or something. Note to self, never let women hug me. Red, are you really going to deprive yourself of a woman's hug? Yes, you can still hug me? Yes! Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'd like to think that I'm very much human, excuse you. <laughs> okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. I get drained being around my female coworkers at work. Although it could be because I'm an introvert and they aren't. That is also fair. I like, that's also why I tend to stay away from, I don't want to say stay away, but um, I do kind of stay away from most of my family because most of my family is introverted and I'm definitely not and I can physically feel when my battery drains. It's not It's not a very nice feeling. Just got myself a new keyboard and it sounds so satisfying. Ooh, did you get the nice clicky clacky keyboard? Imagine getting hugged by a woman, SMH can't be me. <laughs> Bro, okay, Abraxas, where, when are we meeting and when, when can I glomp you? Is your keyboard, is your keyboard one of those that lights up? Does it have the nice satisfying like mechanical sound? Imagine being hugged. <laughs> Mal, come on. I'll hug you too. I'll hug everybody in this chat if I ever meet you guys. Little Orchid, I guess I can give you special permission to hug me whenever. Am I going to regret this? No, absolutely not. I mean, unless you, unless you like, unless I hug you and you decide my hugs aren't very good, then, then you might regret it. Other than that, no, I don't think so. Yes, I posted it on Twitter. Ooh. Imagine getting hugged. Okay, Kai, 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 listen. All you gotta do is fly over here, right? Like we planned. Like when you and Phil obviously come over here so we can all have a group hang and then I can hug you. Please don't eat me. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on how you measure up, Mel. See, that's the thing. We measure... But we're also kind of picky, okay? We don't just consume everybody. 
Hold on, I need to look up this this keyboard. Oh, I spelled your name wrong. <laughs> Excused. Um, don't mind me. Oh my god, why can I not type? Keyboard, keyboard, keyboard. Wait, I lost. Hey, it's me. No, that's not what I wanted. I'll look later. I, I will look later. Um. No, oh no, guys, I lost my place. <laughs> I'm an introvert extrovert, but even then, definitely quite- Oh, well, ambivert. Did you look up ambivert? Maybe that's what you are. But I feel like there's- I feel like though all- like, most people don't fit neatly into a label or category anyway, so I wouldn't sweat it too much. Hugs are lies, only head pats are real. I do like my head pats, not gonna lie. Hugs? Zach, do you want a hug? If I ever get hugged, I become a tree? <laughs> Okay, so no, we're not hugging prankster then? Is that what it is? Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. I got the Rona so I can't go anywhere. Okay, Kai. Kai. How about after you recover from Rona? Hmm? <laughs> listener? Hello, listener. How are you guys? How are you doing? How's, how's your... You're on the other side of the world, right? You're... No, I'm not even gonna try. How's your, how's your time zone? <laughs> Leo. Leo Arc. Hello. How are you doing? Favorite horror movie? Um, I actually don't have one because I am a complete wimp and wuss when it comes to horror. So I haven't seen that many, not gonna lie. Never gotten a head pat before, lol. Or rested my head on someone's lap. Nah, no, no, you're you're missing out. We must we must fix this. I I I deeply enjoy head pats. I don't think I've really rested my head on someone's lap though. At least not that I remember. Okay, I guess I'm gonna head out now because Switch is mean. Oh, poor Zach. I'll try coming back later and see if it stops for me. Have a great rest of your stream, Mari. Okay, well, I appreciate you, Zach. Thanks for stopping by. And hopefully Twitch can stop being a big meanie bully. Like forever. That would be great. Wait, sheesh? Sheesh, what is, what is sheesh? Why are we sheeshing? Say, why are we sheeshing? Sheeshing? Sheeshing. Sheeshing. I can't, I can't, I can't word. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Japan, 10 a.m. here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How, how is, how is your morning then? Did you, did you sleep well? Only cuties get head pats. Then, then no head pats for me. No head pats for me, guys. No, I like the hug. I'm just not used to extra levels of expect of affection from others. That's fair. That's fair. I used to not be, um, I used to not be used to hugs for the longest time either. But now I, now I deeply enjoy getting hugs and and giving them we giving rosebud head pats now yes 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 hello hello gem daddy give me give me all the head pats please and thank you how's work going are you still wait are you still at work i don't get the appeal of physical contact it makes me feel weird well i mean that's fair not um not everybody is really into physical contact um but i don't know for me it gives a comforting feeling Depending on the person and what kind of physical contact. Why are you not sheeshing? Sheeshing. <laughs> I still find that weird. Sheeshing and uppies. Sheeshing and uppies. Same, I don't really watch horror films that much. Do you have like a favorite movie genre though? Like me, I like superhero comic movies or, or fantasy and action. Although I don't tend to watch movies on my own anyway. Someone kind of has to like ask me or invite me to the movies for me to watch them mari i volunteer you can lay your head on my lap baby girl can i lay my head on your lap with our hot cocoa in that pillow fort <laughs> ellie doesn't know this but i nearly cried when she hugged me first <gasps> oh Abe. i still have i still haven't really interacted or met ellie but i but i already love her actually no i love her just because she makes you happy 
Also, to answer your question, fried rice? Wait, what kind of fried rice? Like, like plain fried rice? Shrimp fried rice? Chicken? Pork? Uh, messages are fun to give. Mas massages. Messages? <laughs> massages are really fun to give. Especially if you're able to, like, um, find that specific knot or tough spot in someone's in um, someone's shoulder or back and and able to work it out mm. always nice always nice i think it just feels nice being able to relieve someone like that too um mari let's watch the entire saw series say hey, why would you do that to me <laughs> And actually, no, I might consider it. I'm still in my horror training arc. And Kai, Kanjo, Kanjo, Kai Kun, thank you for the gifted sub to say. Wait, if daddy, wait, what? If daddy gives head pads, would they be called daddy patties? I am so prankster, boys. <laughs> prankster, what? <laughs> why? <laughs> why did we? Why did we even go go down that that? that thought process <laughs> yeah same same so you also do you also like those kind of movies most you'll get is a sore neck mm -mm -mm, yeah, yeah yeah damn you chromebook i don't want you wait you don't want a chromebook wait why are we talking about chromebooks say eh? leftover fried rice the meal of champions yeah no honestly if you're trying to make fried rice, um, this is kind of different than leftover fried rice, but if you're trying to cook fried rice, leftover rice from like the day before is is like the best is like the best kind of rice to use in my opinion. I actually like physical touch despite not getting any. It might even be one of my more strong love languages. But the problem is I never know or well all or well all the time refrain myself from doing so because I don't want to make anyone comfortable or feel weird about it just i guess that makes that makes completely sense completely sense that makes complete sense like i used to not like i didn't want to give any physical contact um to anyone but now it's it's i think it's my strongest love language so if gr granted if someone is comfortable enough to let me do it um if we, if i ever hang out with you and we're just like standing around I will I will probably either like play with your fingers or hold on to your arm or trace patterns um along your shoulder and your back. Take whatever you find in the fridge and throw it on the pan to make something. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Come on, saw is not that scary. Okay, okay. But like one, I wouldn't know because I have not seen it. <laughs> Two jump scares be because because um it's you okay it's mainly if there are a bunch of jump scares jump scares are usually what get me um because what mostly accompanies them is uh is you know like like the loud is like the loud music high pitch stuff and because of my audio sensitivities it like double gets me like it grates on my anxiety which is which feeds into why i don't like horror <laughs> I can agree, head pads and hugs are the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy patties? No, no, we're, we're getting rid of daddy patties. And Fen, thank you for the care package. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here is, here is your, um, what are words? Here is your hydrate. Uh, here is your stretch. <sighs> and my posture is immaculate. There is no shrimping here. I was talking about Chromebook because Twitch trying to sell me- wait. Oh, for the ads? <laughs> oh, oof. Mari, you, me, and some saws? Okay, okay. On Okay, fine. Honestly, say, if you- If you want to watch the Saw movies and you, like- And if you, like, plan a time to, like, watch them with me, or if you do, like, a watch party in, like, the Discord or something, I will watch them with you. Not just your opinion, Rosebud. All fried rice recipes recommend using one day leftover rice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it's not just all right. All right, I, guys, I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> what is the best way to fall asleep? That really depends on on the person. 
uh, some people like using melatonin. Me, uh, the best way for me to fall asleep is if I have like, kind of like a um, constant like rhythm. So like, um, so uh, like a fan or white noise or something like that. Um, some people like ASMR, some people like music. It really depends on what is able to help you put your mind at ease. Or, or, uh, uh, or some people uh, try to tire, themso tire themselves out right before bed, like doing a workout. Or, or taking a hot bath or shower actually can help too, because the change in body temperature when you come out of the shower uh, can actually put like, um, I don't want to say sedate, but that's the first word that came into mind, um, <laughs> can put your body at rest. Touch is the best love language, especially scritches. <laughs> yeah, Fen, I do, I do know you love your scritches. That's how you made this wolf melt. <laughs> you're so, you're so adorable. Saw isn't scary. It's gory, fleshy, disgusting stuff. Okay, okay, wait. Does Saw, does Saw have any jump scares? Because if it doesn't have any jump scares, then we're good. We're good. I can handle gore. I can handle gore and, and, and gross stuff. No jumpies. <laughs> no jumpies. No thank you. No, thank you. I find it strange that physical touch for me is something that makes me the happiest. IDKY. I mean, that's just that's just your strongest love language. It's the thing you find the most comfort in. Are hugs really that good? I don't know, Braxis. You want you want to find out? All right, let's go. We'll watch them after you eat dinner. <laughs> um, is that is that such a good idea? Mario, you're giving the wrong answer. The best way to sleep is listening to the audios at... No. Absolutely not. One, because I'm actually gonna probably get rid of that channel. Um, and two, just no. <laughs> no, go to like any other channel. That's probably... You pro you'll find better audios there. <laughs> nah, no jump scares at all. I don't... Okay. You say no with like the extended O and I can't tell if you're being sarcastic and they're just like pulling my leg or not say. I don't know. No, I'm not adorable. I'm the biggest scariest wolf lord. Yeah, sure you are, Finn. Sure you are. We're the best place to live and fans help me fall asleep. Yeah, I love having turning on the fan. Um, even when it's like cold here. Uh, it's usually cold here for like most of the year, but but since I have like multiple one like onesies in my closet, I'll like put on a onesie and then I'll have multiple fuzzy blankets and then I'll just turn on the fan and it and it's really nice. I took the test and touch is my love language too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Do you guys have different love languages for giving versus receiving? Like for example, touch is one of my love languages for both, but when it comes to receiving, it's touch and words of affirmation. But when it comes to giving love languages, it's um, it's touch and giving gifts, which I thought was pretty fascinating. I'm trying to watch the Saw movies with a snack right now. Say you're different. <laughs> I mean, I love physical touch, but sudden hugs cause me fear. No, yeah, I mean that makes sense because like, um. Like anything that's like super sudden and you're not prepared for it, I feel like even if in general you would like that sort of thing, if it's not something that you're expecting, then um, then it can definitely be jarring. I'll pull both your legs, homie. Bro, say why you do this to me. Why are you like this? No, you're gonna delete the channel? Okay, not necessarily that I'm gonna delete the channel. Um, more like since i kind of made that before i settled on a name and a brand and because i haven't like posted posted it posted on it in a while i'm probably gonna end up kind of just like leaving it as is and then um re-upload re-upload most of my stuff to a new channel and then just uh build that channel so i can kind of put everything under the same umbrella or name to avoid any confusion and just to like keep everything under one email too. If you don't like gore and have a weak stomach, don't eat before. I mean, not that I don't like... Not that I don't like gore. Um, I actually don't know if I have a weak stomach. I don't know, maybe we'll experiment. There's multiple Saw movies, right? 
I will, I'll eat before one and then I won't eat before another. <laughs> there are like some jump scares in Saw, but not too much. Okay, okay. Wait, are they like really big jump scares? Because I think mostly, if it's just a physi- uh, a- a visual jump scare, those kind of get to me, but it's when there's a visual plus, you know, like the really high pitch and loud um, sound that comes with the jump scare, that's what really gets me. Definitely touch, so LDR is pretty much impossible for me. Yeah, yeah, I definitely get that. LDR in general is already really hard, but especially if you have a love language that kind of, you know, that kind of requires you being together physically and in person. There's a difference in both. Uh, yes. I, I already forgot what we were talking about. Um, what are, what are words? I already lost, wait, let me, hold on. I lost my place. Guys, I lost my place. I have no idea what you're talking about with love languages and stuff like that. Uh, well, I mean, do you, do you want, do you want to know, Red? Because <laughs> I mean, some people just aren't really interested in love languages, um, and that kind of thing. It, it's more in the realm of like, uh, personality analysis, you know, like personality tests and MBTI, Enneagram, that kind of thing. Uh, some people like me, I find that really fascinating. Uh, it's also why I took some psychology classes when I was in college. Um, but for some people, it just, they have no interest in it, which is also fine. It just depends on what you're curious about. Yes, I'm Omega good at doing acts of service just naturally, but receiving, I'm into touch. I'm Omega. <laughs> Omega good. Um, yeah, acts of service too. Uh, I think for the most part, I can kind I'm like, um, I fall into all of the love languages, but it's just ver to, um, very much in varying degrees. My love languages are quality time and touch. Yeah, quality time is a big one too. I think that'd be like my third highest for both. I was trying to give you swingies by grabbing both of your legs. Okay, if you're trying to give me swingies by grabbing my legs, I don't want those swingies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Receiving is touch and affirmations as well. Giving is affirmations, praises, and ad administration. Okay, okay, okay. So for you, the safest bet is affirmations, since that falls into both. Ayo, I can hear my heartbeat. Non, non. Do we need to get you checked out? Should should I be concerned right now? Admiration, screw you, autocorrect. <laughs> I was, okay, yeah, I was kind of wondering what you meant. Saw is pretty intense, even for you. Okay, wait, listeners. Intense in what way, though? Like, like intense in, in the gore? Intense in the horror? Or like, what do you mean? Yo, there's no jump scares. Say, say, you tease me all the time. I don't know if I can trust you. <laughs> Mari, help me find my uwu like Your uwu language? What do you mean you have never been swung? I'm, I'm confused what you're talking about now, say. <laughs> what's the age that should be... Wait, what's the age that should be watching this live? Just curious. It kind of feels like you're my therapist. <laughs> um, wait, what do you mean? What's the age that should be watching this live? Hold on. I think I just lost my glasses. Give me a second. <laughs> I swear I just put them down. <laughs> cry <laughs> oh wait no it's okay i found them guys it's fine <laughs> my love languages are like my wait my love languages are like my redacted life i don't have a fucking clue what it is bro what <laughs> i mean most people can get an idea of what their love languages are um based on how um what kinds of things make them feel the most loved and appreciated, but not everybody knows what the quote-unquote official love languages are. IDK, I am INFPT, if that tells you anything. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I'm like, I'm not super, I'm not super, um, knowledgeable on the MBTI, off the top of my head at least, but I have a basic knowledge of what that means. And that kind of makes sense. Got a problem with my Omega adjective? No, I don't have a problem with your Omega. It just made me think of Pokemon for some reason. I don't know what my love language is. How do I find out? Honestly, you could just Google love language quiz and it'll probably give you, and it'll give you a bunch. Um, if you want, if you really want to figure out what it is, I don't know if there's like a, if there's one that's more accurate, but you could take, you could potentially take a few because most of them are really short. You could potentially take a few and then see which, which answers pop up the most. Acts of service is definitely something I do all the time. I literally do your work instead of mine and have it be easier for me to do it than my own, even if we had the same thing to do. Wait, is that, um, is that really a love language though? If part of it, part of it, if part, part of it is for your own benefit, like, do you do the work solely to show appreciation for, for someone else? Or is it because then it makes it, things easier on you? someone dies in a saw movie i'd be like he he she never saw it coming jay <laughs> have you never had anyone swing you around by your legs or arms uh no <laughs> is that is that a common thing <laughs> like is there an age limit is you mean um is there an age limit to to like being in the stream i mean in my most of the, um what am I trying to say? Um, streams are 18 plus, um, just to make it safer for me as a streamer and for people in chat, just because of um, like language and a lot of the topics that come up. It's just safer for everyone. Uh, Isn't there fine ma main types? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, we were talking about love languages, like pr light, <laughs> right, prankster? So there's uh, physical touch, there's gifts, words of affirmation, um, service, so like doing stuff for others, and then quality time. And I'm, I, prankster, are you and Kiria talking about Pokemon? I'll just leave you guys alone with that. I still don't know any of the newer Pokemon. I'm the mediator, I guess, which is something. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you take the M uh, MBTI, then you'll fall into a sort of like category or role. And then based off of that role, it should, it'll tell you different things, quote unquote, about yourself, like um, generally how you handle conflict, relationships, um, what kind of person you are when it comes to like interaction and and jobs and stuff like that oh i should probably not be on here then um if you're under 18 then it's probably not a good idea <laughs> i do it for them i mean it's not easier for me i still have my thing to do okay okay i mean as long as if it's um as long as like the main point of you doing something is to show like that's how you show your love and appreciation to someone then yeah that's considered a love language or at least a giving love language um gee my parents used to swing my arms swing me by my arms when i was really little yeah i don't remember my parents really doing that i don't remember anyone doing that what about fall guys time <laughs> what do you mean say Anyway, Blue, I'm gonna go bed. Sleepy Wolf, it's nearly half one in the morning. It was nice to see you again. Remember to leave your job offerings to the wolf with headpads. Of course, of course, of course. Um, thank you for popping by, Fen. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you have a nice rest. Minor quality time and physical touch. Are, is that for, is that in general, Al? Or is that specifically for giving and or receiving? If I had to guess, I'm probably some combo of quality time and words of affirmation. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. So if you feel the most loved and appreciated, 
or if that's how you show love and appreciation through quality time and words of affirmation, then those are definitely your love languages. I mean, like I get to, um, I like to get and do stuff for my parents because they do a lot for me, but I don't know if that counts. I think that's kind of something you kind of have to reflect on yourself. Um, but like I said, if you're curious, then I definitely recommend going and doing those quizzes, uh, just because, uh, you don't, they don't, they don't necessarily give you like all the answers, but sometimes they help you reflect on like your own feelings and thoughts on things. But what if you kind of have a brain like an 18 year old? Do you think that would be fine? Um, honestly, if I'm going to be honest, I'd probably say no still because it's, it's like the same thing. It's like the same idea as just because someone thinks they're more mature or have the brain of an 18 year old or someone older, you, you still shouldn't be like, you don't date a minor, you know? So just to be on the safer side, I'm going to say no. Maybe I should find a test or something and find out. I'd say so. I honestly, those tests are pretty fun in my opinion because they also help you maybe learn more about things that you didn't think about or like give you a new, uh, a new or different perspective on yourself. That's receiving. Giving is a combo of physical touch, giving gifts and acts of service. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, have a good day. Uh, well, thank you for understanding, Leo. I hope you have a good day as well. Why are we suddenly talking about dating? Um, uh, just kind of as like a comparison, um, if someone underage comes into my stream, uh, because my streams are 18 plus, to be safe for both the viewer and and for me as the streamer and content creator, um, with the language that's used and the con uh, some of the topics that we talk about, if someone comes in who is underage but they say but they say like oh what if I'm more mature for my age or have the brain or mentality of someone who's 18 anyone a minor could say that as well but it's still illegal to date a minor you'd still get in trouble so i just kind of use it as a comparison date chun <laughs> no date no date chun <laughs> dating what is that what is dating also i still haven't finished my hot chocolate I'm actually really, really slow when it comes to eating and drinking stuff. Get out of here, kiddos, basically. I mean, kind of, but I'm not gonna be mean. I'm not gonna be mean about it or be as blunt like that. But yes, definitely if, if anyone in here is under 18, it's probably best for you to to click out of the stream. Imagine dating someone, can't relate, bro. <laughs> date as in the fruit or veggie, or date as in going out with someone? As in going out someone, going out with someone. I don't, is, can you have a minor, can you, I mean, I guess you could give a date, a fruit or veggie to a minor. <laughs> what if I'm physically 19, but I'm mentally 12.5? Well, then I think that's kind of your problem, Red. <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> Date? Isn't it the spelling? Um, yeah, you, you go check that, Non. Go check for yourself how it's spelled. <laughs> okay, guys. Question, should we, should we make some progress on story quests in Genshin or should we smash things in, in Lego Lord of the Rings? Wait, we can't be in here if we're under 18? Shit, Al, don't even, don't even. <laughs> I say smash, Genshin or, yeah, Genshin or Lego Lord of the Rings. I've technically done that before, but nothing ever came of them. I'm starting to think I'm not cut out for dating. I mean, sometimes, honestly, 
honestly, it's like, it just takes the right person. Um, sometimes, or sometimes it takes the right person at the right time. Cause you could, you could totally meet the right person, but it's just not the right, the, the right time for both of you or for one of you. Um, kill innocent Lego bystanders. Your wording is immaculate. Wait, what? I, I'm gonna head out then. My bad. Kai-kun! Kai, don't do this to me. Come back. <laughs> did you just go Australian? What? Did I just go Australian? What do you mean? We're gonna- we're gonna do- we're gonna do a poll. Um, if I can type, oh my gosh. Wait, she kind of did? Wait, 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 how did I go Australian? <laughs> wait, are you guys talking about me going Australian? I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. All I know is I'm super hungry. <laughs> go eat then. Go make some food. Get some, get some yummy foods. It was the pronunciation that made us Australian. Wait, what did I, pr did I pronounce something weird? You can't? Oh yeah, that's right, you can't. Can you like call someone? Can you ask someone to drop food off at your door? I've been off the market for about four years now, and to be honest, I've never been more happy with myself and my outlook on life. But yeah, it's probably just down to being with the right person. Yeah, I mean, if you want, if you want to date, then definitely I think that's, um, it comes down to like your situation and the type of person, um, but there's also nothing wrong with not wanting to date or just being happy with yourself and being single. So it, so half of it is what you actually want and then the other half is also situational and the people around you. Not really? Wait, not really, why? Is there no is there no one able to is no one able to give you food? Do I need to like fly over there and 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 give you food myself? I go Australian when I when I see the Pokemon Dredna. Dredna. <laughs> Wait, I'm still confused. I'm still confused on what I said that sounded Australian. Al and Aeth, please explain. Well, there are my grandparents, but they're all old school and get confused with with the idea of, with DoorDash and all of that. Oh, okay. Do you not have any food around the house? Can someone cook for you? Cry? I can go Australian whenever. <laughs> I heard Australian. <laughs> Hello, Zell. How are you? Um. Apparently, apparently, I said something that sounded like uh, it it was it had an Australian pronunciation, but I have no idea what I said, and they won't tell me. I'm good, cutie house stream. <laughs> it's going good, it's going good. Um, we just decided to hang out and chat for a little bit. Um, and just deciding if I want to play Genshin or if I wanted to smash everything in Middle Earth with Lego Lord of the Rings. Um, but what's the time difference? I can, I can never remember because you're in Australia, right? Um, is it, is it a good day? Morning? He said the C word. He said the C word, but he's new. It's fine. It's fine, guys. He doesn't know. I'm still trying to work out things that I want to do in my life. So maybe I see my failures dating as a sort of roadblocks. 
when I'm not thinking about what others think of me, I'm way more productive, I learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, the most important thing is what you think of yourself rather than what anyone else thinks of you. Uh, because your opinion is the most important. You are what matters. Mm -hmm. It's 12.36 p.m. on Thursday. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so it's still pretty, pretty early for you depending on what time you usually get up. Uh, I hope you slept well. What's the C word and what's wrong? Oh. <laughs> um, the word cutie or cute. Uh, I don't really have a problem with it. Um, <laughs> Q-U-T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you mean you have like ads right now, but uh, the word cute or cutie or like calling me that. I don't normally have a problem when it's every once in a while, but some people have uh, latched onto the word and called me it like every every 30 seconds and sometimes it gets kind of um, annoying or too much so so we kind of have this thing where where cute is kind of like a banned word here <laughs> but it's fine I think it was the word out wait like I said the word out in like an Australian an Australian uh, pronunciation IDK either. I wasn't paying attention to the conv to the convo, but I suddenly heard you cut yourself off to say something again because you messed it up and you went Australian before correcting yourself. Okay, now I'm really confused. I don't know what I said, guys. I call you the word because I like messing with you. I'm a prankster, so it's on brand for me. <laughs> I do that with a lot of people. I mean, like I said, I don't mind it too much if it's like... As long as it's not something that like you keep calling me like every other sentence um but i've just had like i've just had bad experiences with people latching onto it to the point where i kind of feel like like they kind of minimalize it as my whole personality sort of thing she comes from a land from a land down under <laughs> nor I was right. Physical touch is my second strongest love language. Hey, let's go. Wait, what was your what's your first then? Treat it like a spice, guys. Don't overdo it. Exactly, 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 exactly. That's what we like. Um. I think. Oh, the poll went away. I think it was Genshin, right? Let me pull that up real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, while Genshin is loading, I will be right back. I'm gonna put some of my dishes away.
Okay, okay, okay. We're back, we're back. Um... Do you have any guesses based on what you know of me? You know, I appreciate hanging out with all of you, don't you? Uh, based off of what you just said, I'm gonna say quality time, question mark. Um, and Zell, if you're still here, honestly, honestly, most of the time it's fine, since most people don't use it excessively. Um, at this point, it's more of a... Uh, I'm gonna out myself right now, but it's more of a bit at this point. Um, me just fighting the word cute and cutie. But as a term of as a term of endearment or just like something that you call people, I'm usually pretty fine with that because I also do that. I call people sweetie and cutie. Look under. Wait. Benshin gin pack time. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Gotta gotta catch up. Still still Justin Inazuma. <laughs> Yeah, made it a tattoo obvious with that. You know, just a, just a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> Definitely appreciate you having here and spending time with me. Look, look under- what am I supposed to be looking under? I'm scared now. Should I be looking under my desk? Bright screen, bright screen. I wonder if- I wonder if there's ever gonna be a dark mode. <laughs> That'd be great. Granted, it probably doesn't help that I usually keep my room kind of dark because it gets hot in here. Because my- because the room with my PC, it's kind of like a little- little office-like room that wasn't in the original house floor plan. Um, the owners before us, they built it in. So it's really small and there's no window. And with my setup, I have three monitors and it gets super hot in here. I understand you all good. Yeah, I'll remember to not. Just a habit of mine to call people a like, cutie or sweetie. No, you're fine. You're fine. It's okay. I mean, if it, if it means that you like me, then, then you can call me cutie. <laughs> but no, as long as like, um, it's just the people, some people used to always bring it back in the conversation like we'll be calling you um wait how ow why <laughs> oh my gosh the iron dude thank you for the follow welcome to the guild i hope you enjoy your stay we also have these wonderful redeems that we can use to call mari super duper cute not not cute i don't know what you're talking about but i guess thanks baka but no, I used to have, um, most of it comes from older friends, um, who I eventually learned they had feelings for me. Um, and so like once those feelings were kind of like confessed, um, once they confessed their feelings to me, it's kind of like a switch flipped and we'd be having a normal conversation but then every other sentence, they just go back to calling me cute for some reason, and it and the word just kind of lost its meaning on me. Um, but in general, since most people don't do that, it's actually fine. You 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 are cute. You 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 think I'm cute? Really? <laughs> um, I I I I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> I just one of those love language quizzes. I got quality time. I guess that makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah. If you just like, um, if you're someone who is really comfortable just spending time with someone, um, whether it's actually doing something or you know just hanging out uh, with them, then then I can definitely see quality time being your love language. And just like that, I got what I wanted. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm I'm totally gonna butcher this name, MT MTK Wow MTK Wow. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, but thank you for the follow and welcome to the guild. I hope you enjoy your stay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want that thing. We we went 
um, we were doing a- last time I streamed and played this game, we were doing story quests, and then I decided I wanted to get the next Statue of the Seven so I can open- <gasps> Hello! You're so cute! Guys, it's, they're so cute up close. Wait, 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 how- how do I get- can I- can I go in here? Oh, that's a- that's a barrel. Well, what is- wait, what is this camera? What is this? Oh wait, is this a barrier? Is that why? Can I investigate? Wait. Is that all they give? Are they just like little Mora- little Mora bears? Camera, are you okay? Camera chan? <laughs> Did not butcher. <gasps> Did I get it right then? MTK wow. <laughs> is that what you per is is that the name you prefer to be called or did you prefer to be called something else? Um Yeah, I actually feel bad leaving on that note. I would really love to stay longer, I promise, but I have to wake up. <gasps> you have to wake up in three hours? Oh my gosh, none! <laughs> And I still hear my heartbeat, so I don't think my body likes this. Well, figures. Um, yeah, sorry. And have a great time. I appreciate all of you very much. You're loved and appreciated. Well, we love and appreciate you. Uh, and I definitely love having it with, um, having you around in stream and in chat. Uh, I hope you are able to get some rest before you have to wake up. Thank you for stopping by. Um, oh my gosh. And, and the stretch. Okay, okay. And the stretch. <laughs> And the hydrate. Also, I still don't know what that, that island is in the distance. But we'll get there eventually. And my posture is immaculate. There is no shrimping here. In my opinion, it feels really awkward and weird to confess my deeper feelings, then go back to how things were with someone. Like, I can't see them in the same light, so maybe it's due to not seeing how to proceed i mean that makes sense but it was more of a matter um that they were my friend first and it was kind of like, like once they confessed their feelings again. it's kind of uh, like that friendship completely went out the window and all they saw me as was a potential person to get with um especially after you know explaining how demisexuality works and with friendship being a super important and core part of a relationship. So it was just really, it was just really awkward for me. Um, and that's fine. Or MTK is fine too. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, I will remember. I will remember that. Let's, put, let's, let's, now let's make a note. A whole lot easier with a few More or sometimes just from. random items Maybe like cabbage or carrots. Okay. So it's just like a cute little, it's just like a cute little bear that gives you a few extra things. It's not like a super big, it's not like a super big thing, like a chest or anything. It's a very awkward process indeed. Indeed. Mari will remember this. Mari will remember what? Are you a telltale game or an RPG now? Wait, I don't think I quite understand what you're what you're asking. Wait, is this a cannon? Can I shoot the cannon? No? But I want to sh Hello? Okay then. Okay, no cannon, no cannon for Mari. <laughs> Cry. Not yet, side quest, dang. I was making a joke. Oh, okay. Um, that joke kind of went over my head then. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I was supposed to go... Wow, I actually went a pretty long way. Okay, we're gonna hit that one... We're gonna hit this, this little waypoint here on the way back. Here we go. Okay, that tree though, the tree. We stay away from the tree, right? Because the tree hurts. Also, hi, yes, hello, hi Star, how are you doing? Wait, are these birds also Electro? Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Leave me alone. 
Um, where is... It's up there. Okay, I just want the waypoint and then we go back to the questing. I've been playing the new Pokemon a lot to fill out the time. Oh, okay, okay. Did you get a uh, Scarlet or Violet? Which one did you pick? Yeah. Wait, what is this? I already forgot everything. Where is where is Waypoint? I chose Scarlet. Okay, so you got the that's the past aesthetic with the red with the red dino. Okay, I see what you mean. Tbh, I like the idea of being friends first, or at least knowing a person somewhat before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like for me, for me, I absolutely like need that, or else, or else there's just no no feelings, no feelings at all, unless we've gotten to know each other first. Ooh, that's pretty. Katara? To, to, I don't know how Japanese pronounce their things. Listen to this music, though. It sounds very grand. I like the Legendary's aesthetic more. That's fair. I mean, I feel like that's why a lot of people... Um... That's how a lot of people choose the Pokemon versions that they get, based off of like exclusives and legendaries and designs and stuff. Take it easy. Where is what is that in the water? Is that the is that the um what is it called? The cryo barrel? Why is there just a random cryo barrel over there? <gasps> oh. <laughs> um. That that startled me a little bit. If you couldn't tell. It's fine. We don't talk about it. Demi do be struggle sometimes. For a second, I thought you were talking about Demi as in the the other mod, but <laughs> But then I realized what you mean. She got spooked. We won't talk about it, Kai. <laughs> One of my favorite Pokemon got a new evolution in that game, but I need to figure out how to get it. Wait, which Pokemon? Um, because the one thing I did, I do like, uh, that they've done as they've made new generations and stuff, is uh, is make different regional versions of the same Pokemon. I think that's really clever because like. That's like the same thing in real life. You'll have like the same- that's not what I meant to do. Uh, you'll have like the same t animal, but like different variations or type of the animal, depending on um, which part of the world it's from. Scald Maui- Kai, why are you like this? Why are you bullying me? <laughs> You need to here. You need to defeat what? three Bisharp in groups with Pawn pa what? Pawn yarn? That hold a leader's crest and then level and level up. Stupid specific. I don't know any of these Pokemon. <laughs> you know I love you home. to the moon and back. Yeah, yeah. I love you to the moon and back too, Kai. You're still a bully, though. I've heard that the peddlers often I heard Primate got one too, but that's day. less of a priority than Bisharp. I still don't- I don't- I need to look up what- Am I even saying it right? Bisharp? I need to look it up later. I'll go and ask. Whatever happens, I at least need to go inside just this once. Huh. I'm quitting? What do you mean you're quitting? You can't quit? Oh yeah. Anal- Ape? You know, so okay, some of these Pokemon names too, it's just like, what? Okay, we go, we follow. We follow her two feet? Oh, she's just waiting for us. We quitting? Phil, tell Kai not to quit. He listens to you, tell him not to quit. <laughs> because I really like Bisharp. Love you, Marmar. <laughs> Love you too, Star. Let's do it. Phil, why are you guys like this? It's just that there aren't many people. If you guys quit, I'm gonna retire. Let's hurry and see as much as we can. 
Hey, look at that stall! They have so many masks! I want a mask. Pyron's heard that everyone's supposed to wear a mask at these kinds of festivals. Is that rule still around nowadays? Or... So then Mari goes to the moon since I'm too bully? No, 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 no. No, I'm taking you to the moon, Kai. It's still a popular way to dress up during festivals, but it's not a hard and fast rule. Okay, so are we getting masks? Hey, is that who I think it is? Miss Kamisaka, Hey, right? just the way he said that. <laughs> I'm kind of sad I can't get Sobble though. You're gonna have to remind me who Sobble is. <laughs> People seem to recognize Ayaka wherever we go. Guess that's just what it's like when you're a famous Inazuman. I mean, isn't that what it's like when you're just famous in general? <laughs> but of course, the Kamisato clan Sobble is Sword and Shield Water Starter. Oh, can you not like trade that in? Not least because back when Master and Miss Kamisato had just taken over the family's affairs, they used to make public appearances all the time. Some okay. of the younger generations have never even seen Miss Kamisato in person before. Being the age I am, I'm lucky Being the age I am. <laughs> over the years. Pokemon Home isn't compatible with Scarlet and Violet yet, but can't you, like, trade with other people? Is that not a thing in this game anymore? Kind. My brother and I simply go where we must to fulfill our duties. <laughs> but this is the first time I've seen anyone from your family at a festival. There must be some official business, I take it. Mm, all business, no play. Oh, Between the games, yeah, you can play. Today, then easy, just have a friend start kids. Sword and Shield over. <laughs> or something. Oh, a you can trade, just not with Pokemon from other games? Wait, it. what? Wait, yeah, has that always been a thing where you can't trade Pokemon from other games? I've never traded. I've never really traded Pokemon, so I don't know. Hey everyone, listen up! Don't close up yet. Miss Kamisato has come to join the festival. You can trade between versions, but not old games. Oh, okay, okay. You're thinking of transferring? No, I'm not thinking of transferring. I'm actually thinking of trading. I just- I've never traded Pokemon with other people, so I don't know if you could do it between games. N no, it's not like that. Please, there's no need to make a fuss. We're just here to- It's the whole transferring to the next generation. There's a wait period due to compatibility, so right now, stuff from Gen 8 yeah, so much, and before mister. can't be set into Scarlet and Violet yet. Hmm. At least it sure looks like that time of day. <laughs> yep, you got it. But on account of this being the first time Miss Kamisato has ever come to the festival, it seems only fair to keep things open a little longer. Dang, imagine being this famous and well-known. Oh, here's a couple of masks for you. On the house. Ooh. No, 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 no. You've been far too accommodating to us already. We couldn't possibly... Ah, uh, don't give me all that. Here you go. Bro, just take it. Here you go. It's not often that we regular folks get some attention from the Regular Yashiro folks, I hate that. So mark the occasion somehow. Besides, it'll make me look Okay, guys, if you were, if you were kind of like well-known, like Ayaka, would you just like take things that were given to you or would you put up a fuss like this? Okay, I think I understand. <laughs> it's my pleasure. You have yourself a good time. You can't even transfer it. You have to do that event. Oh, that's unfortunate. Quite a fuss for sure. Okay, well I know you would, Phil. You wouldn't. E you won't even take gifts from friends. Oh, hello there, kiddo. Put up a fuss regardless. I'm sorry. Famous or not? Mm -mm -mm. In your size. I think it would depend for you. What would it be depend on, prankster? I said I'd accept it. Yeah, after you put up a fuss. <laughs> I definitely take what's given to you. Mm, okay, okay. I don't know. I feel like for me, 
I'd probably ask like, are you sure? Are you sure this is okay? But if they were, but if they were actually insistent on giving it to me, then I wouldn't put up too much of a fuss because then at that point, it's also kind of insulting when someone wants to give you something and the other person refuses. Why be famous if not to gain things? Mm, I don't know about that mentality. I even do so to my friends, family, and loved ones. <laughs> when I'm getting and or how I feel about it, like on average, I probably fuss somewhat, mainly because I'm like, do I deserve this? Yeah, I get that. Don't you worry, kiddo. I'll have a mini mask made specially for you. AKA being humble in a way. Yeah. I feel like it's always good to be humble and um and not to like expect things like that, but at at the same time also if someone is really insistent and really wants to give you something, continuing to just like refuse it um, or not want to take it, even with good intentions, it definitely makes the person trying to give it to you feel bad. All right, traveler, shall we? Oh, wait. Um. Just one thing. Not accepting gifts? It'd be weird if I knew someone who did that. <laughs> hmm. I need to explain myself. I got a little nervous back at that end. Oh, we're not I talking about it. Made up any old excuse. I mean, fame is like alchemy but and full metal alchemist. You give up privacy and a personal life for money and a career. Um. I brought you here because. Like, yes and no. Like, you're not making. You. Like, that just usually just comes with the turf. Of becoming quote-unquote famous but that's definitely not something anyone consciously says like oh i think i don't need a private life anymore but give me money okay great oh we're not talking about it i don't know what, actually no i don't know what you're talking about al Where are we going? Traveler, look! This doll's doing the determinant of being famous for me, to be honest. Mm. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I like having privacy, but I also like money. <laughs> I mean, you can have money and privacy. You don't have to be famous. Unfortunately, like, fortunately and unfortunately, sometimes fame just like you happen upon it, depending on what you're doing. Okay. How much is it per draw? Like, say, like, say, if you're in entertainment, like an actor, you're you're doing a lot of actors like don't become actors to become famous or anything. They do it because it's what they love to do. And then some people just get a really big break and they get famous. I think he dealt with it personally. So you see, how could I possibly take your money? You should just take it anyway. What? Are you sure? It's okay. I'll get it to you eventually. We'll see. Al. We'll see. Of course. If you like what you see, then please be my guest. Same goes for your two friends here. Mm, Paimon's happy. Traveler, Paimon, what do you think? Seems like everyone wants to do something nice for Ayaka. So, if they insist, who are we to resist? Yeah, if they're offering, who are we to well, refuse? If that's how you feel, then okay. We'll take you up on your kind. You should just officer. accept my gifts anyway. Let's each do a draw. Bill, don't you have a stream to run? <laughs> Alrighty then. Whenever you're ready. Draw a slip and reveal your fortune. Reveal your fortune. Ooh. <laughs> it's a cute little animation. I kind of want to go to a festival and like do all these things. I want to go to a cultural Open festival and, see how you fare. and do like the different traditions and stuff. Enjoy your lurk, MTK. No Rising way. fortune? We got the same one. Maybe they're all the same thing. There's no different Traveler, fortunes. What did you get? 
Oh. Mine says, great fortune among people. You're so lucky. I am? Ah, oh, congratulations are in order. Here's what great fortune among people means. As the golden koi fish shines amidst the turquoise waves, your name I do have a question that could start a decent conversation. Okay, what's your question? In other words, your good luck isn't about to run out anytime soon. A, let's go. What we do like having fun. luck on our side. Good things lie ahead. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Not every day I get lucky. You all have very fine fortunes lined up. With this kind of luck, you'll certainly be able to achieve anything that you wish. Okay, let's go. Well said. Here's hoping that our good luck will never run out. What are you pifting? Pifting? Pifting. <laughs> what are you pifting about? Are we just are we just going through all the stalls? Is that what this quest is? We got, we're walking slowly. This quest is a date, isn't it? This food stall sells all kinds of Inazuman specialties. Anything you want to eat, it's my treat. Ooh. It's the way to get to anybody's heart, through their stomach. Men, women, non-binary, food. Food is the way to go. If you could wish for one thing, no repercussions or anything, but it goes away after a month, what would you wish for and why? So if I wish for all my debts to be paid, but it goes out away after a month, does that mean I get all my debts back after a month? <laughs> of course it is. Hmm. But we don't want anything to go to waste. Let's try them one at a time. <laughs> Ooh, Ayaka, Paima wants those dango. Has anyone had dango? Sure. Is Dango supposed to be like warm room temperature or cold? Uh huh. Those look good too. Ooh, but so do the egg rolls. Paimon will try an egg roll too, please. Paimon, just say you want one of everything. All right then. I too shall have a sakura mochi. All right, coming right up. Wait, did we get anything? Ayaka, Ayaka and Paimon order. Did we order anything? Not bad, huh? It's one of our best sellers. I don't know if there's anything that I'd want. Um. For a month. I don't know if it's rude of me to ask, but how is this kind of snack actually made? Mm. <laughs> you want to try your hand at making it yourself? No problem. Just give me a second and I'll write out the recipe for you. Oh, uh, he's he's confident. He's confident we can't do it as well as he can. Ooh, a new recipe? Are you sure about this? If you share the recipe, isn't that tantamount to giving away your trade secrets or something? This is also true. Well, it was you who gave Kiminami Restaurant that recipe for an overseas dish, wasn't it? Mm, this is also true. <laughs> she and I are good friends. We trade culinary tips all the time. Here you go. Just treat it as me returning a favor on behalf of my friend. Okay, let's go. Thank you so much. I will study it very carefully. Although technically, Ayaka is not the one who gave it. We're the one who gave it. You there? You want the recipe too? Go on. I can see that you. I go for it. seeing into my future and to avoid losing the knowledge. I'd write everything important down before the month is over. Okay, but what if you lose, but what if, like, since writing everything down is part of that knowledge, you also lose the pieces of paper after a month? Two hands. You should definitely give it a try. I will. Once I will. Make it, will you two be my taste testers? Ooh, taste testing? I don't know about that. Oh, definitely! Can't wait! Alright, I'll do my best. Okay, let's go. Okay, we keep following her. Okay. But it's still been super fun. Paimon approves. Yes, I agree. To spend the festival together with you today has been a truly wonderful experience. 
Okay, continuing our date. This stall sells prayer plaques. It's an Inazuman tradition. You draw your wish onto a pentagonal piece of wood called a prayer plaque and pray that it will come true. Okay. Seems similar to the way people in Lele release lanterns during Lele. The writing it down is an external it's action by technicality. So too. technically, no, it would just seem like nonsense because you lost the context. Okay, so technically you still lost the knowledge because you don't have any context. So what if I ask for enough money to get rid of all my debt, and then I use that money to pay off the debt, and then the money goes away? Technically, I already paid off the debt, so the debts are still paid off, it's just the money is gone. Does that count then? Does, Ken, does Paimon do anything useful? So much just now. Not the best time for an intense burst of mental activity. And you're the first person to figure it out? What do you mean I'm the first person to figure it out? What does that even mean? Two prayer plaques for the young lady. There you go. Good job, I'm proud of you. I'm still confused. Traveler, have you decided on your wish? Yes. Oh wait, I'm wishing in the game too? You can either draw a picture to represent your wish or write it out in words. Oh. Either way, once you've committed your wish onto your plaque, please hang it onto the prayer rack. Oh, oh, I see, I see. So they'll be on public display? Bro, got that gifted sub during class, thanks to whoever gifted. <laughs> well, hello, Brandon, how are you? How was class? If you have a resource you can expend before the month ends, you can't lose your wish. Mm, I see, I see, I see. That will do for mine. So, like, if someone wished for a month's supply of food, and then they eat that food, technically they didn't lose- they, like, they still get their wish because they've already eaten that food. Wait, which one's mine? Oh, did I draw myself with my brother? Isn't it? That's cute. Did she draw, like... Wait, is that her family? Or is that just like the Inazuma people in general? Well, it's class was good, thanks, despite it being three hours. Oh, <laughs> currently going to get dinner. Okay, few a few questions for you. Three hours, does that mean it's a class that, like... You only take, like, once a week? Or once or twice a week? And... What are you getting for dinner? I believe it too. Your wish will surely come true. And or wish for enough money to pay off your bills and that's you mean like how I did? Ayaka, what did you draw? Is that Tenchukaku? What is Tenchukaku? I feel like Paimon knows a bunch of these things and I don't know a bunch of them. Either I forgot right. when we first got to Inazuma, or Paimon just knows more than... Or Inazuma. how did Paimon get this knowledge? Yeah, once a week. Mm. Do you prefer then, like, classes that are shorter true. and more frequent? Or what do you prefer? You're getting Subway? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, that food is food, help. right? I used to get Subway a lot when I was still in university. Because we had one on campus, and campus actually wasn't very large. So we had, like, the the food hall, and then we had a subway, and then we had a, like, a student hub center, which had bagels, a create-your-own personal pizza, and then, like, a burger chicken tender place. Time flies when you're having fun. It seems to flow away from you like a rushing river. You're like the fifth As person I asked, and you're the only one that had an answer that beat the reset issue? Well, what kind of answers did everybody else give? Oh, I should probably change my, my category. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's time to leave. My friend flunked out of a college with Ben and Jerry's on campus. Like, they quote unquote flunked out of a college and that college had Ben and Jerry's on campus? That's pretty cool. Traveler. Not the flunked out part, Today obviously, but the, the fact that you had Ben and Jerry's on campus. Ever been to a festival. Hmm. 
You've known me for some time now. Aw, hey. You understand my personality, don't you? No, I don't know if I understand your personality yet, Ayaka. We haven't known each other very long. I just know that today could not have been such a happy day without you. So thank you. Would you commemorate today or try to record to me. those memories, Aeth, the memories while you had them? Always have a special place in my heart. Festivals are great. There aren't many rules. Everyone has that smile that comes from deep inside. And these quests that we're on, are they like character happy. quests? Like they feature they feature a primary character? If I ever get the chance, <laughs> I want to go again. No, I know the reset would take it away. Mm. Well, I mean, as Star said, if you write it down, technically that's the external act, right? And the things that you recorded wouldn't be taken away. You too. Someone tried wishing for love, two wished for superpowers, and two wished for world problems to be solved. You know, Interesting. We're kind of similar. Mm, like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I have two 15-minute classes, which I kind of prefer more. But for the three-hour class, history, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can handle Sometimes three hours of history. I, feel like I, I don't mind. I think it's just because the prof is pretty time. cool. Okay, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like a lot of times, depending on the professor, the professor makes or breaks um, a class. Because it could be a subject that you're really interested in, but if you have a terrible professor, then sometimes it ruins the subject itself. Family bonds are inseparable. No one can break them. They are the most important roots we have in this world. You will find him. Come what may, you must never give up. Hello, wrestling. How are you doing? How's your day been? I will always be here for you as your... <clears throat> She's kind of crazy, friend. so it's funny. I Yo, I will say, you. I had a professor. Um, So I studied mainly English and communications when I was in university. And one of my required classes was public speaking. And the only way to fit it into my schedule was to take it at 8 a.m. in the morning... And I commuted to campus, and I lived an hour, an hour and a half away, depending on traffic. So I was dead tired. But she was the type of person who woke up at like 4 in the morning and had like 3 or 4 cups of coffee. And she was super, like, I don't want to say loud, um, but she was super energetic and just really hyper. And it made the class bearable, even though I hated public speaking. Oops, I forgot I wasn't following in the first place. <laughs> well, thank you for the follow, Brandon. I appreciate it. And welcome to the guild. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hello, hello. Is it... Oh, I'm going to butcher this name too. Stoff? Stoffy? Stoff? <laughs> How are you? I'm, do I'm doing well myself. Thank you for asking. I hope you had a nice day or evening or time zone, wherever you are. Memories are difficult to record. They may not be accurate, or maybe they won't be something I would want to. Recording it would be wonderful, but by doing so would make me more self-inclined to continuing to remember and record. I don't want that because I need to continue pushing forward in my life. Okay, okay, I see. That makes sense. Wait, is she singing for us? Is she singing or laughing? Why is she in the water? She's wearing socks. Do her feet not feel gross with wet socks? I just got another answer from someone else that could make sense. Okay, what is their answer? OMG socks in my Christian Mari stream? Oh my gosh, I know. But I mean, look at her, bro. She's showing calves. This is already scandalous. Okay, that was kind of pretty. I need to make a flork 
meme? What do you think of my dance? What is Did a flork meme? Like it? And we could see more if the developers were more bold. <laughs> I mean, she homie if she wearing socks. <laughs> is she? Why? Why is wearing socks make you a homie? I'm glad you are well. But the question is, are you well? You'll see, and um, should I be concerned, Abe? If they wish for infinite wishes, they could wish to extend the time on the wish continuously while making all other wishes they need to make. I'm not very good at this kind of dance. So as long as I feel like that's still not I feel like that the reset would still cancel on that because everything goes away after a month including their power to make a wish to extend to extend the wish I just by that logic i'm wearing so socks so i'm a homie prankster you're a homie regardless socks are pretty pog so yeah wearing them makes you a homie honestly there used to be the thing where like getting socks as like a christmas present was was like a lame gift but i actually kind of want I actually wouldn't mind socks for a Christmas present, especially if they're like warm and fuzzy. <laughs> unless, unless it meant that they just didn't know me, hence they only got me socks, then that's kind of lame. I'm well too, thanks. Good, good, good. That's good to hear. Um, I don't know if you celebrate Thanksgiving, but do you have any Thanksgiving plans? And if you don't, do you have any plans for the weekend? If they're nice and comfy, I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> I remember one time, um, we were doing a, like a secret Santa for my family. It was a few years ago. Um, and I have this godmother and honestly, like I'm not very close with her. And I'm kind of wondering why my parents chose her as a godmother because she's kind of like, in my opinion, she's very self-centered. Um, and like she never really bothered to get to know me as like her godchild or anything. And we were going to a Christmas party with the Secret Santa and, and as we were getting, we were going there, I, I like looked over to my mom. I was just like, hey, watch, I got my godmother and watch, she didn't, she doesn't know me any at all. So watch, like she totally got me socks. And guys, dude, I was right. <laughs> my godmother pulled my name and she got me socks. And they were, and they were just plain white socks. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Jump, jump, jump. Wait, what is this thing? Is this supposed to be like an- is this supposed to look like an animal? I need socks more than any other clothes so they're a nice gift. Yeah, I mean in general, in general they're not- they're not a bad gift. It's just, I think, when someone gives you socks, simply for the point- or like, uh, simply to give you something without bothering to get to know- to, or like to make the effort of getting to know you, then it's kind of like, uh, I would have rather you just not give me anything. If they wish to extend the time on the wish to more than a month, then it cancels out the issue. Mm. I'm still gonna argue, but agree to disagree. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Wait, if I run through this, does it go away? Yeah, it goes away. <laughs> does it come back? Oh, it does come back. If I ever buy my cut little cousins gifts, I'm getting them socks. Okay, but if your little cousins don't want socks... What if, like, they don't want socks and you get them socks anyway? Is that, like, that kind of- that's like a dick move, isn't it? Philip, Philip Jorts boy, I thought you were going for a long stream today. <laughs> what are you, sir? What are you doing here? But thank you for the raid. 
I'm gonna rinse them in the sink before I give them socks because they're little shits. Okay, I feel like that's just petty though. I feel like at that point you just you just don't bother getting them gifts. That's that's my that's that's my thinking. Your brother got home sooner than you wait, so your brother's there right now? Does that mean does that mean the um the family festivities start early? I think I spelled I think I spelled it right. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, he's a dork. Wait, what do you mean he's a dork? I mean we already knew he was a dork. I'm a petty dickhead sometimes. I feel like if you have if you have the choice to not be petty in a dickhead, unless unless they're like they really really deserve Oh, oh hello. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Uh, leave me alone, leave me alone, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just No, don't 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 attack me, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't mind me running away. That was that was that was scary. Um Especially if they're kids, I feel like at that point you should just be the bigger person and just ignore them. Where am I going? No festivities, but I should go make convo for a bit at least. You should totally rub it in his face that you're that you're coming that you're coming here. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Akuma. How are you doing? How's my favorite bonehead? Where am I supposed to be going? I'm here. Okay, okay, there we go. We're looking for the great Ujina, like, one of them called me a slur last time they saw me? I mean, depending on how old they are. It could- it's, I feel like I would just ignore it. Do you know As if you was? thought I wasn't going to. That's right, that's right. Yeah, what is the mu- wait, Mujina yokai? I know what a yokai is. What is Mujina though? I look for a bit, but I'll be back. Take your time, take your time. Go, go bug your brother for me. Fine, just got home a little cold, but good. Okay, I hope work wasn't too bad for you. And, and this other time, it pushed my dad into the river. Like a very nice little, <laughs> little kid voices are so funny. We found out how to chase it away. Oh, did you? My dad said that the great Mujina yokai likes to play tricks on people who stay out all the time and don't come home when they're supposed to. Okay, so it's one of those things so that parents tell their kids to try and get them to behave. Then we can come out I'm guessing that's what this is? Scary though. Aren't you guys afraid? Surely your parents must be worried about you. Surely your parents must be worried about you. Oh, not really. I told my dad that I was gonna find the great Mujina yokai with some friends, and he didn't even say anything. <laughs> your dad doesn't care. Cry. <laughs> so we think it must be weak right now. It's probably hiding away so it can rest. Mm. Yeah. So, as long as we get home before it gets its strength back, we'll be safe. Hmm, something sounds very strange about all this. But wow, such smart kids. See, if a monster's coming for you, surely you won't be safe at home. This is true. We've never seen a monster like this before. The dad's attitude doesn't quite add up. I'm gonna do this yeah. one. Mujina Yokai is one of those storybook monsters that doesn't <laughs> exist in the real world. I guess the parents just don't want their kids staying up out all night. I can't read. We We're gonna pretend I read that right. All their time looking for it. Oh children, listen up. <laughs> oh There's children. No go looking for the great Mujina Yokai, alright? Because it isn't real. No, not really boring near the end, and sorry for the abrupt leave earlier. I was literally being rushed out the door. Oof. <laughs> no way. That's impossible. 
My dad wouldn't <laughs> lie to me. Oh, wouldn't he? Your folks are just worried about you. I just found my notes from when I saw Doctor Strange 2 with one of my friends back in like August, and I can't decipher what these notes say. My handwriting sucked because it was dark. <laughs> I wonder what you were even writing about. What kind of notes are you taking while watching a movie? Yeah, Yoimiya's even making some weapons for us. Yoimiya? She's gonna show us how to blow it up. Bro, why is Yoimiya making explosives for children? Wait, as in fireworks prison break, Yoimiya? I'm pretty sure you, Paimon, did you just like blab that Yoimiya did a prison break to these children? She said we shouldn't be scared of it. We should learn how to chase it away instead. We've been waiting for ages now. And are you feeling a little better now, Mari? Yeah, I am. Um, my stomach definitely has settled for the time being. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was like, something I ate, but I do feel better now. Washing machine. <laughs> Inazuma children built different. For real. For real. For real. I'm so used to typing now anyway that my handwriting had devolved. I feel that. I feel like that's how most people are once they get out of school. Um, but I like writing. I, I like doing handwritten notes. And I do... Uh, I write letters to people, which I'm kind of behind on right now. You know, like, kind of like a pay, uh, pen pal type of thing. And I like doing handwritten cards for special occasions. So I, I have pretty good... Um, I'm able to practice my handwriting. A decent, a decent enough amount of times. Glad you're feeling better. Well, thank you, thank you. Butterfly? Flower. And we're just collecting all the things. The berries? No, no, not- Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, he doesn't do much damage right now. I need to look at his build again. That, 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 that startled me, not gonna lie. Let me look at your cryo damage. I'll look at it later. Every okay, I swear, every time an enemy pops up, like, they're not even scary enemies, but just the fact that they pop out of nowhere, it always gets to me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't watch Saw. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I like them both in all honesty, but I prefer the swordsman one. I plan to make both of them one day. Like my homebrew game that I need to finish making. My handwriting is literally just scratches now. Akuma, you have that doctor handwriting. I also need more than one player. I'm sorry, I, I got lost. What What are you talking about for the more than one player? I watched Smile the other day. It was pretty scary. Ooh, okay. Smile, I know I would not be able to handle it, but it looks so interesting. How did you like it, though? Like, as, as a movie in general, and as, like, as kind of like a horror... The great Lugina yokai might be, it's no match for my specially made fireworks. Just light them up and you'll scare it off, no problem. Yeah, pretty much all I do is sign freight slips for the warehouse. <laughs> it's literally just scribbles. Scribbles and scratches. Your folks. And your folks. Got it. Thanks, Miss Yoimiya. We'll try and be more patient. Yes, patience is a virtue, children. I have a few slips of paper for you guys. One each. Remember to give it to your parents and tell them to keep it safe. Interesting, okay. Just tell them it's from Yoimiya. They'll know what it's about. Oh, they'll just they'll just know what it's okay. about. Okay, thank you, Yoimiya. We 
We're gonna go back now. Oh, thanks, Yoimiya. Come play with us soon. I couldn't hear you if you responded to me. I got ads. Oh, I was just asking what you, um... I got a little bit confused on what you were talking about when you said you also needed one player. Or a homebrew? What, did, what homebrew game? So it was you guys. I guessed as much from the way the kids described you. No worries though, I'm not blaming you. The great Mujina Yokai is pretty popular with the kids, so of course they're gonna get upset if someone tries to tell them it doesn't exist. Okay, but it definitely doesn't exist, right? <laughs> yeah, the first time I heard about it, I knew straight away that was probably something the parents had come up with. Exactly, exactly. You time. know, just something to make sure the kids stay in line. But when the kids asked me about it, I'm using D&D in a game my friend them. made as a template to make my own thing. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Play pranks and doesn't hurt people. Smile has some of the... The most unpredictable so, uh, jump scares I've ever seen. Now, okay, so note to self, do not watch Gina Smile. And it's a four-player party, but only have one player so far. Huh. So in a way, okay, so you need like you need four players to play it, and so far you only have one other person who um to play it with you? Is that what you mean? These kids brave AF. Imagine getting together to literally kill the boogeyman, honestly. But I mean also, sometimes kids are just like, if they were by themselves, maybe they'd be scared, but since they have numbers, you know, they got that flock mentality. You probably are. They should be allowed to believe it if it makes them happy. That's more important to them than questioning what's real and what isn't. <laughs> Heck, I entertain my fair share of fantasies too. The fire diamond that spins around and shoots out lights that are all the colors of the rainbow. Ooh, that the sounds pretty. Spirits that live far off in the mountains and guide you to fairyland if you can find them. Some kids don't have any fear, honestly. Some kids they think they're invincible. And it's really funny to see how that transfers into adulthood. <laughs> okay, I kind of like her voice actor. I still need to finish all the in-between stuff since I have the beginning and two endings worked out. Hmm, how many endings do you have, um, do you want for your game? kind of get what you're saying why be so childish about it uh what? we'll do this so what if it's made up it's also really awesome and kind of magical so it's not up to anyone else to tell me what's what the things okay. we believed and the experiences we had when we were young turn into our price who would win many children or one adult many children obviously in things like heroes who slew dragons and sacred swords that cut through darkness it's the same thing if we tear apart these kids fairy tales now what else do we have to tell them that inazuma's locked down all the grim tales of the vision hunt decree i think it's a bit too early for all of that i mean you could just not tell them anything like you don't have to be super grim about it. Like my parents never, never let me believe in Santa or the or the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> no need to pretend to agree if you didn't understand. Whether you understood me or not, don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids. I have four loosely planned since I'm treating it like choices actually matter. When <laughs> like choices actually matter, like a choose your own adventure. Nohara fireworks show is just around the corner and there's still a lot of things to get ready our family was gonna watch it a few weeks ago we watched the first first scene and just said nope and backed out that'd be me i like watched i watched a little bit of the trailers and like i was hiding behind my hands like the whole time well yeah i mean that's why your name i'll be back later gonna make some food okay 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 i hope i hope you make some yummy food But the Tooth Fairy is real, I just killed her. Kiri, if the Tooth Fairy was real, I'm pretty sure the Tooth Fairy would kill you instead of you killing her. We've been looking forward to it for ages. Or I'll gladly take you up on the offer. Mm, I guess I'll gladly take you up. Your parents never let you believe in Santa, but you believe in him now, right? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. 
Santa, Santa is definitely real, just like Jack Frost and the Easter Bunny. Where am I supposed to go? This way? Where is the publishing house? Is the publishing house near the shrine? Oh wait, no, the shrine is up there, right? Because Miko is head of the publishing house and the shrine. So that's kind of a commute. Wait, how far is this? Okay, that's not that far. Listen, all I say is her body couldn't handle. Yeah, okay, Kyria, you keep telling yourself that. Whatever helps you sleep at night. I do have a system, I'm almost finished figuring out what I think will be fun. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, honestly, as long as you... Uh, as long as you have fun with it in the end, that's all that matters, right? Where is Publishing House? There is Publishing House. I take these berries first. Isn't the Tooth Fairy filthy, filthy rich? Yeah, I wonder where the Tooth Fairy gets all the funds from. I can divulge if you like. That's up to you if you want to share. And the fireworks for each family are almost ready. Oh, new faces? Who are these two? Friends or customers? Both. Actually, they arrived in Inazuma just recently. Can't let them miss out on a fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? No, of course not. <laughs> Well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naganahara Rienosuke, Naganahara. will tell you all about the long history of the Naganaharas. <laughs> Naganaharas. I can wait. Pops, I need to ask you about something. Oh, wait, so wait. Wait, is this her dad? Ah, a long, long time ago. Uh, Pops has started telling the stories again. Don't. Rocks? Damn, Mario here thinking she's cutting the self-confidence when in reality, I just stepped on the damn fairy. Damn, Kyria out here assuming what I'm trying to do. Obviously, human teeth are worth bank, and she's just underselling us hard. <laughs> okay, yeah, but I'm still wondering where she even gets the money in the first place. Much, much later, people eventually realized that if you grind certain materials into dust, they burn with many beautiful colors. Okay. <laughs> Pops, Pops, wait! Huh? Wha what's that? What's what? Did they deliver those firework materials that we ordered yet? Oh! <laughs> yesterday's fireworks have all been delivered. So have the ones from the day before yesterday. And the ones from the day before that. No, Pops, I meant the materials. The materials that we ordered. They should have arrived today. Ah, oh, today's fireworks are almost ready too. Don't you worry. <laughs> Your old man's skills are still as sharp as ever. No, Pops. Have you ever talked to someone like that? Like, when you're trying to ask them a specific thing and they're like, they're just not getting it? And they think they're telling you what you want to know, but it's not, <laughs> but it's not what you're asking. Oh, oh, the materials. Everyone can have multiple rivals and can share rivals, but sharing rivals is going to be the hard part to figure out. Okay, interesting. She probably sells the teeth for bank and then only gives. 1% of those funds to us sheep who provide our body parts and then the cycle continues. Hmm, maybe, maybe. I do have a name for the game though. Okay, what's the name? What's the name then, Star? She sells the teeth back to the elves, living off only candy canes and Christmas cheer. Really destroys the teeth. Santa don't- Ew, Red, that's disgusting. Are you are you saying like the elves destroy their teeth, and then the tooth fairy gives them, gives them teeth, to like replace the ones that they ruined? The game is called Swamp Trash to Superstars. Is it supposed to be like a climbing game where you start off as swamp trash and then you become a superstar? Still, he seems like a warm and friendly person. He's a good person, all right. 
Everyone around here respects him. You. Because my pops is deaf, he never argues with anyone and never contradicts them. He just listens cheerfully. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Oh my gosh, guys, that makes sense. He's deaf because he works with fireworks. Had to say. So I told my pops everything. Eventually, what if the money given to us is made of our teeth the whole time? Made of our teeth and we were the fools the whole time? So you're saying what? That the coins that we are given just have like a coating to make them look to make them look like metal? Santa is a terrible boss. Wait, how do the elves how do the elves have the money to pay to pay for those teeth? Is that you? At the end of the first fight, we were supposed to lose. You wash up in a swamp village, and since you have no money and damaged equipment, you look like trash. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So we just have denture capital, <laughs> bro. Hold on, I'm coming over. Confirm the source of the sound. What if I just walk around as Miko? <laughs> like, let me walk around either as a super important person here, or a fugitive. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. He pays well but gives no benefits. He's no, kind of looking. like Amazon. Okay, you can come out now. Uh, come around the side. Okay, but like, define pays well. If a company pays well enough, can't you just? Can't you just yeah, pay for your own insurance? The Tenryo Commission was around, otherwise we'd all be in big trouble. Because I know I there are some, there are some contractors back, just... who will pay you, Don't and they'll also give you benefits. So or if you decide to forego the benefits, they'll pay you extra. We're going to look for firework materials shortly. While we're out, we'll sort out the boat situation for you, as promised. Thank you for all your help. I am absolutely not paying attention to the story. I don't know what's going on. He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found him and put oh, him oof. Over for his arrest. Nice. An arrest warrant? Why are you trying to crush my joke so hard? Um, Bro, I just try to logic everything. Want to draw any unwanted attention? This is why the old, like, why old horror movies, like, um, what's it called? Like, Halloween, like the original Halloween, all I kept doing was just asking questions. <laughs> because none of, because it did not make sense. But usually foregoing the benefits, but usually foregoing the benefits usually applies to part-timers and they get less hours. Which means less money. No, no, I'm talking about, um... Most of the time, companies don't even offer benefits to part-timers. What I'm talking about is full-time people where the benefits come in comes with the job. But they'll give you the option where if you don't want the benefits and would rather take extra cash as um, extra pay, then sometimes they offer that. But now I'm not sure anymore. Horror movie characters aren't the smartest tools in the shed, but like not even that, because uh, that's kind of like a trope thing. I'm talking about like in like the ho original Halloween movie. What's his name? Like Michael Myers. Like he was just like a normal kid. But then like for some reason he's just like like he he turns into like this like super strong serial killer dude, and it never explains how he got like that. And I'm just like the whole the whole movie. I'm just questioning like. Why is he like this? How do you get like that? Why is he why is he coming after these people? Yep, the same paper slips as the one I gave to the kids. Sorry to leave you, but I have to go get food. I'll talk to you later, Marmar. Mar. Okay, Star, uh, thank you for popping in. Appreciate you. I hope you get some yummy food in you. Only people from inside my family can understand what's written on it. It's the recipe for the fireworks they ordered. Interesting. If someone shows a Nagano Hara that paper slip, we guarantee we can make the Yeah, but that's because those benefits are cut from your initial check. Alright, I work a full time job later. and have seen all the options. Yes, Kiria, I know. Oh my god. Never mind, I'm not. I'm I'm done talking about this. Wow. That is so awesome. 
Michael is strong because he's crazy. Crazy is like steroids, bro. <laughs> it's a family tradition. All our regular customers know about this. The slip I have is from back when my parents ordered fireworks from Mr. Ryunosuke. Now that I think about it, it must be nearly 20 years ago. Hmm. Uh, I would have thought that things would turn out the way they have. They'll be fine. Escaping in a boat is just a last resort for if there's no other way. Also, try and come up with a different solution, because it'd be much better if you could stay in Inazuma. <laughs> Whatever their reasons might be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. No. Thank you. This way, I still have some time to consider my options. Yeah. All right. Well, let's not stay out here in the open for too long. Imagine not being. Hurry up and get back inside. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I have an update. Is he like? Was he like not allowed because? Even right. if he's from I'll, Inazuma, I'll just then, the fact that he's from the outside world when everything shut down. Is that why they're after him? It's a shame. They still wouldn't give him a permit, even though he was born and raised in Inazuma. Speaking of, you guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? <laughs> even then, we only got through thanks to some help from Miss Haragi Chisato of the Kanjo Commission. We're just, we're just special. Oh, I see. So you had Big Shots helping you. I guess that won't be of much help to Sakujiro. Unfortunately, oh, no. I just wish the commissions could be a little bit more flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? Mm, yeah, each Archon has their own idea on how to run things. Well, no matter what, I have to find a way to help him. I'm Wait, what sorry. time is it? I invited you to come watch oh, the it's almost seven. Okay, okay. Um, you a few you don't see, have to I actually have something to do to, uh, you know, in the boat after this. So, depending on how long this quest is, I'll either I'll probably either cut it in the middle of the quest or when we finish the quest. Then let's start with Sakajiro's boat. And I'll probably we send you off to way. someone else who's also playing Genshin Impact. But we'll see. We'll see how long this takes. Oh yeah! Um, if it's fine with you, can I ask how you two first met? She saved me from drowning this one time, and after that, we started traveling together. Why do you ask? What? Nothing. I'm just quite envious of your relationship. Why are you envious of our relationship? Paimon is so annoying though. Koichi, I'm here. Yeah, it's uh, all right, I guess. Um, I was questioned though. Wait, wait, should we really be talking about this in front of them? It's fine, it's fine. We're cool. I'm cool. We're cool. Oh, don't worry. They're my friends. You can trust them. They came with me to check up on the boat. Yeah, you could say we're all in the same boat here. I'm done. I'm done. Paimon's making puns. I'm done. Oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't m mean to doubt you. I'm just being cautious. The boat is ready, but I'll have to be discreet moving it here. Huh? Why? Why? Why, though? Because of the Sokoku Decree, the Tenryo Commission is really suspicious of any kind of seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, mm -hmm. demanding to I know guess that makes what sense. we plan on doing with it. Paimon it's is cultured? No, nuisance. no. There is no- we are not siding with Paimon. No. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. <laughs> uh, don't be silly. Uh, I'm actually happy you came to me for help. I've always come to you for fireworks, and again this time, so just- Paimon is getting all the benefits of, of the relationship. <laughs> Seriously, it's not even a relationship. Paimon's just right. leeching. I'll go fetch the boat now. I should be back shortly. Paimon's just very punny. Ew. Oh, if it's on Ew, get, way, get that kind of talk out of here. From my house. Everything was made in strict well, regardless, hopefully this plan the doesn't the sink. Oh my god. Al, why are you doing this to me? Alright then. The fireworks show will be starting soon, won't it? You should make sure your new friends get I want to see is a parasite. It. It's an She's a leech. Tradition after all. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, you know what? You should tell them about your past. About the first time you ordered fireworks for my family. <laughs> that's a long story, actually. Where do I start? Wait, why... Why did we ask him to ask... Uh, to tell uh, a story? Maybe I'll come back to that after moving the boat here. 
right. Yeah. Uh, I thought Paimon was a little shit, but now she won me over. I don't know, Kyria. Okay. I think she won you over because you're also a little shit. Meet you back here later. <laughs> Lucky you reminded me. Otherwise, I would have ended up chatting the rest of the day away. Ugh, I've been so busy with the fireworks business these past few days. Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away, but because he can hardly hear anything, it's difficult to get an interesting reaction. You don't have to remind me. I'm doing it again. Now they made puns in the game. This is a Titanic opportunity to to do them too. Oh my god. We should try to find some firework materials. Why? Why are you like this? Not just for you guys, but for those kids and Sakajiro as well. We're missing a lot of materials. It'll be fine. It's It'll be fine. Like Azu! I actually started liking Paimon by the end of Sumeru Arc. Don't tell me that! Azu, why would you tell me that? Why would you ruin this for me? <laughs> when people want fireworks, it's always because they have something to commemorate. Hope they don't make her annoying again. They uh, the chance, they might never get but Paimon's like the one thing so, I can no consistently bag you, on. I'm always happy to take their orders. So, Nothing floats Mari's boat, I swear. Kyria, you're just enjoy. upset. You're just upset that... You can't figure out what makes what what satisfies me. Oh, I do. I really do. Being born into a family of fireworks makers, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with watching things go boom, and then seeing all the lights things go and boom. Is it? Is there? Is there like a uh, uh, what is it called? A fanon? A, a fan head cannon that Yoimiya would be fun. friends with. What's her name? What's the little kid's name again? Um, uh, sorry. the one that sorry. also makes things go it's boom. Conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks sometimes. Long since I saw you play Jemshin. <laughs> yeah, it has been a while. I mean, I played it last stream, but I figured I should finally make some progress in the game. I think I'll try my luck with some people that I know. It's actually canon. Wait, it is? Head pets satisfy you, don't don't they? Uh, head head pets from specific people. Otherwise they're just head pets. But what else would I be using my voice for? My everlasting friendship should be enough. I don't know, I don't know. I'm pretty picky, Kyria. It is. It was part of an Inazuma event questline. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. I mean, that makes sense. They both like making things go boom. Do I talk to this guy? Hello, Morihiko. I don't think it's in the game anymore, but events count as canon generally. Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go are. cry in my gremlin I corner now. <laughs> don't don't drown in that sea of tears, Kyria. <laughs> no <laughs> I hated Paimon even worse after Sumeru. She said some things I that really rocked the boat. It'll be huh? Al, I think really? I have to also rethink our friendship. <laughs> Because a fireworks show is coming up, and that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last-minute materials. She has to come to the puns. She is one of us now. I've Wait, come to what puns? It now, there's always a few extras unaccounted for, eh? Oh, so sorry for bothering you every time. Ah, oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean it like that. You know I'd I didn't mean it like that. I'd sooner have my business go under than turn down one of your requests. What about you two? Are you the ones one leaving of us, some One of us, one of us, no. No, no, never. <laughs> it's no trouble at all, my friend. Uh, once when I had an argument with my son, Yoimiya was the one who came and calmed him down. I'm hopeless at communicating with him. If it wasn't for Yoimiya, who knows? He probably would have run away by now. Maybe you should just take lessons from Yoimiya. Is it or is it because Yoimiya is like she acts nah, like a kid? He's never gonna come to that. He's a sensitive kid and he cares a lot about your feelings. It's just he doesn't know how you to You saving for it. anyone, Mari? No, not really. Maybe I just like upside down once in a while. I don't know. He might feel um, yeah, I guess I'm probably too serious. I just haven't had really anyone that I like enough I to pull I'm for yet. Like that when I'm um, with other I mean, obviously, I really like Child don't and Nico, no but since I already have, have them, I figured I'd just wait and save some more in case they decide to we'll release lunch. release more Sumeru characters that are playable. <laughs> All right, 
then. Everyone's always saying what a good kid you are. Your father must be very proud of you. Go ahead and Saving take for, the orb, Is it Dayo or Daya? It's on the house. I like, I kind of want her, but at the same time, I'm still not, I'm still not too happy that she's a pyro claimer. Just take it as a token of my gratitude. Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. Dia? Don't do this to me. Can't we just play by normal business Wait, like that, here? Dia? I already said it's fine. Please, just I already take it. said it's fine. Surely you've got a load of Um, well, how about this, then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, there's no convincing you, is there? All right, then. If you insist. Pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. I like the way this guy talks. He kind of sounds like, um, we'll like do. he's in a You're little bit of a slow-mo. Well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. That's supposed to be the original pronunciation, I believe. Why do they pronounce it differently in the game? Everyone seems to really like you, Yoimiya. You're not the first person to say that. In fact, some people think I'll literally do any favor they ask me to. I mean, would you? When that happens, I say to them, Hey, this is a fireworks store. We do fireworks. It's because voice acting is weird. But ugh, they don't always listen, so it can't be helped. Like Candace but is. Also, it's not really a big deal. Wait, Kandake? Anyway, we've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Did they call her like the English Candace? Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. A menoma? A menoma? <laughs> Look at that cat stretching. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was kinda cute. When do I get when do I get a character with, with a blacksmith build? Mr. Aminoma, it's me. Is it Hajime? Ah, Yoimiya. If I'm not mistaken, you must be here for some firework materials. Seems like everyone knows how busy Yoimiya gets leading up to the fireworks show. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to Yeah, but if they while? want to make Candice in the Katakana, they would do right now. Kandashi. I mean, no shouldn't they be pronouncing oh, things? Actually, shouldn't they be pronouncing uh, things in yeah, in in how problem. it's pronounced uh, in the the languages that region how is based off of? Do you need a hand? As long as we can get through your orders, you can help me process my ore, right? Uh, that will depend on my master. Not Tainari, but oh, Tinari. The G As is silent, etc. Okay, okay. Show starts. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna butcher this name. I'm so sorry. Don? Don huh? Don he? Thank you for the follow and welcome to the guild. I hope you enjoy your stay. So I'm sorry if I I'm sorry if I butchered your name. If I don't finish them on time. Talkative as ever I see, dear child. Dear child. <laughs> the essence of Amenoma art is patience and focus when the mind is disturbed it will show in the blade they modernize, modernize. <laughs> they modernize and change the names for every region like this, mm. in what do you mean modernize but, but this is a special circumstance surely the Naganohara fireworks show is right around the corner so you have a bald spot so give me your ore and I will process it for you. I'm already lost what, what's Master, happening. I was not paying attention. You'll do the work personally? Is that so surprising? Yes. It is, yes, it is. All, the only option. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma. You're quite welcome. The Naga Nohara fireworks show is an important event. This I know well. So it's not voice acting, it's it's just Genshin this, being weird. I am Wait, to 
Yosuke. Wait, what are you talking about? Voice acting being weird then. But Yoimiya, you should plan things more carefully in the future. Do not rush everything at the last minute. <laughs> I'll try my best. In the future, I'll get some extra materials in to cover any unexpected changes of plan late in the day. <sighs> Though for you, dear child, no matter how much you. It's kind of both Genshin events, being weird and localization being hard to nail. I mean, yeah. I thought you were talking about pronunciation, not the names themselves. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm talking about the pronunciations. Um, Excuse me. Because, I mean, also, sure when you're giving... I feel like if you're giving a a project or a job to a voice actor, wow. then Mr. especially Mr. if it's gonna be... If you're gonna be saying green. words that um, are in, like, a different language or something, you should be giving them direction of how it should be said. And it should be uh, consistent. But it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. Of course. I have studied these techniques my whole life. They are impossible for me to forget. In JP, they changed some names completely so people can actually pronounce them. Which I- which is both good and bad. Because at the same time, like, if you have a name, and, like, you go to a different country... Back in the day, it was my master. Like, some people will change their names depending on, like, what country they're in. But at the same time, if you want to just, like, keep your name, then you keep your name, right? But the Hajime, in the future, this will be up to you. I know, I know. Mm. <laughs> All right, I won't bother you guys any longer. Oh, remember to come and watch the fireworks. Okay, time to head off. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. I had to change my name when I moved to Canada, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's also kind of like with a lot of uh, Asian immigrants. They have like their original Asian names, and then they'll have their quote-unquote English-American names. What if I just... Guys, what if I just- what if I just ruined the water supply? Contamination. <laughs> I'm just Kai. <laughs> Kaikun. Funny enough, my name was actually Ingo Germanic. Germanic? Germanic? <laughs> so y'all have it, but pronounce it differently. Sorry for dragging you with me everywhere. Everyone's been so good to me though. It's all gone really smoothly. Yeah, my name my name is just English. My mom thought she was being clever by giving me an English name, but then we moved to America. I felt like I was neglecting you guys, so I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. When we first met, I was in a hurry. We didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. That's true, that's true. Travelers, right? So, where else did you go before coming to Inazuma? Um, well, we were just in Liyue. Mari? We have that in Hungary too. It's pronounced slightly different. Hmm. Well, I mean, technically, Mari. Mari is just a nickname. It's short for Mayari. 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 Yeah, a lot of crazy things went down as a result. Luckily, everyone worked together to stave off a huge disaster that could have wiped out the whole city. Oh, well, that's good to hear. I kind of Hi, my beloved. I noticed you're in Genshin, so I decided to stop by to see what you're up to. Hello, how are you doing, sweetie? I mean, I sure can't imagine. Yeah, I'm just finishing up this quest. Um, but I'm actually probably going to be getting off here pretty soon. But how are you? How are you? Maybe it's to see a certain view or to fulfill a certain wish. So, what made you guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma? Um. Should I say to track down an enemy god? Do I know if they're an enemy god? Oh wait, no. We're talking about the unknown god, right? Um, I'll say I'm looking for my brother. For I'm good. How about you, darling? I'm doing pretty well myself, thank you. Better now that you are here. You are Do you have any plans for Thanksgiving or just god? the weekend in general? Oh, that must be really tough. 
Sometimes it okay. is. Well, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. <sighs> you know, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to stay here in Inazuma. Mm. Unlike the outside world, what Inazuma seeks is eternity. In other words, a state of tranquility where very little ever changes. I don't know. I don't know if I'd like that though. Like obviously, if things were good, you want things to stay good. But a place where like things don't change. The advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, nah, Inazuma's nah, no, thank you. We already celebrated Thanksgiving in Canada. I don't, I don't. Did I ever ask where you're from? I think I just know your time zone, but I never knew if you were in Canada or in the U.S. I was just worried that you might be getting weary. Well then, if no Thanksgiving plans, what about the weekend? Inazuma is kind of a juxtaposition. Sometimes that's also just how it is. When you're exhausted, everything becomes an uphill struggle. Lightning is the most fleeting thing. That's true. You'll be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you just work, oh no. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope work does. Well, I hope work isn't too hard on you. I hope it's not so bad. Don't worry though. I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. And you're here now, so even if you're gonna leave eventually, I want to make sure you at least leave with fond memories. No. Who knows? Once you're reunited with your family, need the money you know, for college, bro. I feel, I feel, I feel like college sometimes is a scam with how much they ask for and how much they give. I'll add it to my list of candidates. It also depends on what my brother thinks. I'll add it to my list of candidates. I already have an idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. <laughs> keep it a secret for now, though. Did she just wink at us? Did she just slowly wink at us? Yoi Mia, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. I really like the underlying lore in Inazuma, but the story itself uh, felt like it was half hard, half hazardly put together. Mm. Okay, good. Let's go then. I still have yet, yet to see what what, what that means. The slowest of winks. She wanted to really make sure we knew she was winking at us. The background in deep lore was great, but the actual main quests were paced so badly. Oh. That's unfortunate. Absolutely. Rest assured that the quality is guaranteed. Did she just wink at our lovely faces? Well, we have a lovely face. I don't know about Paimon. Time to go. Yo yo moyo. <laughs> what? Wait, here? That's way too small. <laughs> Wait, I already forgot who's Atsuko. It's technically helped, sturdy though. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Okay. Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. Oh no. I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. It's just there as a last resort. I mean, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. I gotta say though, Kuichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. Paimon really had to say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. Oh, he has a bit of a stutter. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. I see, I see. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. He'll need to make some preparations before setting sail. Uh-oh. Hyman feels really worried all of a sudden. Why? Uh, Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the eyes of the Tenryo Commission? Okay, and? <laughs> Maybe it does. But I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to is an NPC you can meet in the Liwa Dark Darks? <laughs> why can't I uh, why can't I pronounce words? Liwa Dark Docks? She fled Inazuma was one of the first Inazuma NPCs. Oh, okay, I see, I see. 
And whenever there's a national event of any sort, you there's a side quest relating to her too. that you can do in Inazuma. Okay, that's cool. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, I like don't remember. To cause trouble for me I hardly either. ever remember names. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. Wait. <sighs> Paimon, calm down. Ah, so calm down, Paimon. Already, eh? Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> I'm a lore nerd. Az Azu, you're just a nerd. Anyway, thanks for everything, Koichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. While you're there, you can get my pops to settle the book construction <laughs> fees. Ah, oh, come on, embrace it. Embrace oh, it. Don't worry about paying anything. Third sis would be sure third to scold sis? me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Nagano house. Like his, like his third sister? Who's third sis? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. <laughs> they were a tightly knit group of friends. But eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. Which, it which is, inevitable which makes that sense. Business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. That's right. Just before we went out, I do greatly appreciate that you actually read and listen to the dialogue. More people should do it. Well, I mean, I partially I do it is so I can study the voice acting. Also, I don't like being. I do. I do like storytelling. Although sometimes I don't pay attention when when I'm talking to chat, so half the time I am still confused. After that, he hardly saw them. But whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Always be involved. Yeah. No matter how close you and your friends are. At least you give it an honest go. Yeah, instead of just breezing through it. Separated for a long time. I mean, I get why people do it because the dialogue can get a bit much, especially if you're just trying to go through quests and gameplay, um, or if you're trying to like, um, just get materials and stuff. But I enjoy story. That's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need mm. to go update Sakujiro. See you, She's kind of growing on me, although I help. still don't know if I would pull for her if she came back. Yeah, I should get out of here too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. I do like that they added a character that stutters. Okay, story time. So, okay, story time. She brings one of his friends from the trade association to see me. He always mentioned how they used to play with me when I was a kid or help me once as a baby or something. But there are so many of them in that friendship group and I don't remember anything from that age anyway. So, I how, why is this relatable? Who they are. One time, he shows up with another one of his friends and the friend asks me if I remembered him. So I'm like, yes, I do. You held me once when I was just a baby. Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Turns out, he's a lot younger than he looks. Just a few years older than me. Oh, oof. I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. It was so embarrassing. Also, also relatable. Oh, knock on the window. The boat is already and waiting. You and me could talk for years. She's a chatterbox. Yeah, I can. I definitely can see that. I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. Uh... Yeah, those people are nice. Like, she's definitely. She definitely seems like like a sweet and nice person. Um. I just- I just hope she's not like Amber, because Amber was just annoying. She was too preppy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. Time is starting to run out. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise I won't cause you and your family any more trouble. Aren't effect? I didn't mean it like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. Amber has her motivations too, but I get where you're coming from. But I mean, a, a lot of it also is just Amber's voice. 
belt. Um, it just like it grates on me, so I can't I can't really stand listening okay. to it that long. I won't let them catch me. You don't like Pep Mari? But... Um normally a lot of times no, people who are who are peppy quote-unquote peppy and like energetic like that they're also very like chaotic and loud and that grates on my sensitivities and on, on my anxiety which is also why i can't listen to a lot of streamers i didn't used to like this place at all that's why i left oh just her voice well i mean it's her voice now, and her um i was really just running and her away attitude from my responsibilities once I started to realize that, but I, I think her voice restless. adds to that. I couldn't stop thinking about the people and the things I'd left behind. So I oh, forget it. What does it matter now? It's too late anyway. I originally wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead, I found myself in the situation I'm in now. No. What a pity. Talk to us about it. Maybe we could. If only there was no Sakoku decree, huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. Wait, why did she cut in? Real commission. If only they weren't so overzealous, there might be a way. Oh, that's right. That elderly couple, old customers of ours. Their son's in the Tenryu Commission, isn't he? Oh, are you gonna call in some favors? Well. That's it. I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. Man, she's talking really fast. Are you sure they won't just report me instead? Yeah, that's definitely a big concern. Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any issues. Mm, are you sure about that? Just because someone's nice, that doesn't mean they're like you should get back that they're willing to go against whatever we'll law or whatever. Okay, let's go. Time waits for no one. Time waits for no one. Wait, hang on. What about the fireworks? All those materials? Oh, there's so many orders to finish. Pots? Pots? No, never mind. <gasps> I know. I'll write him a note telling him to sort out Rap the Rap battle between you and me and Amber? Oh my god, no, let's not. <laughs> you annoyed me at first because she felt too genki. And I don't like fast talkers usually, but she's endearing. Mm. So like the type of person or character that kind of just like grows on you. Oops, I did not mean to just run into the wall. The greatest rap battle of the century, bro. I think I'll just, I think I will pass. Um, do I talk to them? If it isn't Yoi Mia, come on in, dear. Come and take a seat. Are these two your friends? Yes. Yes, they're travelers from afar. <laughs> Outsiders have a very difficult time getting into Inazuma nowadays. <laughs> Indeed, these are Indeed. unprecedented times. But seeing Indeed. as they came, they came all this, all this way, way, we locals, we locals should, should give them a warm, warm welcome. welcome. <laughs> Attendance is mandatory, Mari, or you fail the class. Bro, I'll, I'll fail the class. Thanks. I'll just take it with a better professor. Your family is so good to us every year. First your father, and now you. I wonder if I'll still be around to see the next hair of Naganahara fireworks. Bro, you really just be like, when are you having kids? Of course you will. You're both in great health. Don't say things like that. It's bad luck. We aren't as young as we once were, though. The body knows it. The body knows it. Well, I feel that. It used to be that I could spend all day working the land, carrying water back and forth. But now, even a moment of light work leaves me with all sorts of aches and pains. I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as wait, was that a dig on me? If it was, I'm muted. I'm started, wait, I'm confused. Are you the professor? If I went any further, I wouldn't be able to get back up again. No worries. Say no more. We'll handle it. <laughs> no, no, no. No, we no, can't no. We be putting you to work when you're a guest in our home. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll Ooh, continue snackies? our conversation. It's fine. It's not like it's the first time I've helped you with chores. I just haven't had much time recently with the fireworks show coming up. 
But once that's out of the way, I'll be sure to come by more often. So she really does just help that's everybody. No trouble, really. We don't mind helping. Am I? I don't know anymore. I don't I don't even know what's going on anymore, Red. <laughs> oh, you're such good kids. As for mine, he's all grown Hasn't up found now. anyone yet. Hasn't found anyone yet. <laughs> There's the little slip. He doesn't visit very often. If you're quite sure it's no trouble, then I have some pickled radish here. Would you mind delivering it to Sataru on the other side of the village? On the other side of the village? Sure. It won't take us a moment. The old folks aren't very mobile, so come on. Let's help Wait, them out. Wait, but like... We'll get rid of the weeds first and then deliver the pickled radish. But she has like her vision just flaunting on her waist. Is that really a good idea? Help the old couple clean up their yard? We oh. Okay. Wait. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Can I just- Oh, guys, I start- oh, I started a fire. Whoops. Yeah, you got it! And that should just about do it! Sataru okay. is on the other side of the village. Let's go see him now. Okay. He's literally right here. <laughs> what? Hey, Satoru. Now you say that do be a bit interesting. He still didn't finish the main quest in Inazuma. So the Sakaku decree is still going. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As usual, not much has changed. You're looking full of life. As yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and I haven't finished the main one because it said I couldn't. It said I couldn't better better. continue those until I did other quests, we or they were locked. Maybe it's because I need like to ascend. That must mean a lot more work for you, though. Are you sure you and Mr. Ryunosuke can manage? If it gets too much, I don't forget. You can always ask me for help. Hmm? Okay, this guy has a slight ask askant. <laughs> this guy has a slight accent. We should be fine. I think we can cope. Oh, yeah. Um, this is some pickled radish from Mrs. Imatani. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I never used to be a fan of pickled radish, would you believe? But then I tried some of Mrs. Imatani's homemade stuff and I couldn't get enough of it. It's a family He actually now. has a slight Asian accent. Speaking of your family, how's everyone doing? They're doing well. We have the occasional heated argument, but I guess that's every family ever. Nah, that's true. That's very Being true. Being close to family is better than never getting to see them. Even if it does mean putting up with some conflict. Okay, I mean, I, I don't completely agree with that, but... Now, Mr. and Mrs. Imatani <laughs> but for the most part, also relationship. true. But still, they must get lonely with their child never visiting. Yeah, that is kind of sad. Huh. They didn't seem that way to me. I think they're just used to it. Which is sad. You make a good point, though. I should drop by more often in the future. That way, they won't get so bored. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they'd love that. As would all of us in Konda Village. You're always welcome here. <laughs> Life you. of the party. Now that we've finished all the chores, it's time to talk to the Imatanis about Sakujiro. Okay, I think I will go after I steal these melons. Um, I think I'll go this one last part of the quest and then I'm gonna call it for the day. Because I do have some plans after this. This is starting to get sad. <laughs> when you stream more Genshin? I don't know. I mean... I might stream it a little bit more often just so I can get caught up, but I'm kind of all over the place with my streams. You, right now, it's between Genshin and like Lego Lord of the Rings. Just more like chill, relaxed vibes. Maybe with the occasional like Fortnite, or maybe I'll try Overwatch. I'm back. I missed you. Suddenly, 50 years have passed. Eighth, you're back too. I missed you. 
Yeah, I usually don't stay around because the games you play are very not to my... I mean, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, if, you must if you aren't really into a game a streamer is playing, then by all means, you don't, you never have to, like, sta stick around. Usually, depending, though, um, if it's, like, a friend or, like, a smaller streamer that I want to support, usually I'll just have the tab open and just, like, lurk. Naganahara fireworks show. <gasps> That's adorable. Together ever since. Mm, to tell the truth, I yeah, I lurk you. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was doing when I walked into the. That sounds like a confession. I, 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 I lurk you. <laughs> Even as it was rising up into the sky, uh, I still had no clue what I was going to say. But then it exploded, the sky lit up, I looked back at her and saw her eyes twinkling in the light of the fireworks. Gosh, guys, old couples are like the cutest thing. Before I knew what was happening, apparently, I'd already said it. And, well, she That's like the best place to propose. <laughs> it always feels weird to be there and understand nothing while trying to be part of the chat. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. A lot of times, though, the chat also kind of has their own... Um, their own conversations, or they'll have conversations with me that pertain nothing to the game at all either. But, 50 years of being but together, whatever, um, that is something whatever, whether it's it's chatting in chat or lurking, or even but if you don't, you, even if you don't come to stream, and no, no, and just like even just the thought of you wanting you. to support me, that's that's more than enough. Oh, no, it's quite all right. Will you we lurk me too? <laughs> I do lurk year. you. It wouldn't be the same without it. I haven't seen you stream that much though. Seeing that firework go off takes us right back to the Yeah, I usually mute the tab, they don't detect that. Even That's what I'm saying. Age, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just got to make sure not to mute the video to make sure you get the regret. to get counted. Yeah, exactly. I mute um So like I run on Opera. And then I have like my regular opera browser and then I have what they have like it's like streamer mode or something where whatever tab you open it's automatically uh, muted and that's usually what I use to lurk it's a difficult thing to talk about but here goes oh that's the, yeah 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 so he came back yeah huh he was our boy's best friend when they were young. Mm. <sighs> they were inseparable. They grew up together, shared everything with each other. I didn't other. know that. Wait, you Went didn't know what, Phil? Together. But one day, Just got new meds, didn't feel right? Just as you things? Mm. Well, I hope you're feeling better. Um, whether like you stream more now or not, I just hope you're you're starting to feel a little bit better. The streamer mode in Opera, yeah, 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 it's in the settings. Um, I think they have different they have different like setting modes for Opera, which also kind of uh, it messes also with like like CPU EP, CPU output and stuff like that. About these sorts of things. In the end, Sakujiro stormed off. And that was that. I see. Keisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but he didn't want to talk with us about Maybe how Maybe I do have that feeling. on? I've got the performance limiters. I mean, if you want to look, yeah. Eventually, whether out of It was like one of the first things that they asked reason, um, he joined the they asked me for commission. when I first got opera, he what kind of mode I wanted. Anymore. If it was anything else, I could talk to Keisuke, and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. But since it's Sakujiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. But how has it been what I missed? Um, what was the last thing you remember? I don't think I've really done all that much. He came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. No. Two best buddies in 
childhood. One grows up to join the Terrio I'll miss Commission, you. The other grows Wait, up what? to join the Terrio Commission's most wanted list. But also, I don't remember. <laughs> what the heck is Sick Baby? That's a tag I never seen. <laughs> uh, I just I just added it because I actually was deciding if I was gonna stream or not because earlier, um, I had I felt a little sick and had an upset stomach, and I had extra tag space so I just included it. Well, no worries. If that's the case, then never mind. We can find some other way to help Sakujiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. This sounds like something for Sakajiro and Keisuke to resolve between themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. It'd be so nice <laughs> if they could go back to the way things were. Confused tag? Yes, I'm always confused. That's just, that's a perma tag. I think after all these years, they ought to let go of their grudges. Uh, well, can't say we didn't try. I'll let Sakajiro know after we get back. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for me for today. I'm just gonna travel to where he's at and then we're gonna go raid someone. If you guys wanna stick around for the raid, just for those extra channel points. Hope you're gonna stream Genshin soon again. I probably will, honestly. Uh, my next stream, my next stream is either, I'm thinking either a shorter just chatting stream or no I did not mean to go to a cutscene no I do need the points no you don't need the points Phil I don't know what you're talking about um but next stream it's either gonna be a shorter just chatting stream um or I'll play either Genshin or or the or the Lego game I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard but they didn't listen. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. Oh no. Luckily, Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Tenryo Commission He's talking pretty loudly though. What if what if the Tenryo Commission was just like right around oh, the corner? This is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Pops, did you see where he went? Oh, the Tenryo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. He is hard of hearing though. I know, I know. I'm just saying, I'm not like, I'm not like saying he's, um, I'm not blaming him for like talking really loudly. I'm just saying he's talking really loudly. So what if, what if they were right around the corner? The commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stowaway. Oh, sorry, my ears are no good. And I didn't get a good look at them either. What if, what if, what's his name? What if the sun is just looking for him so they could make up? Guys. I wish I'd caught their names. <sighs> but I didn't hear a thing. As it happens, I did. Oh, okay. I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke, just Whoa. like you said. We knew it. We knew it, guys. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. <laughs> if Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse. But he just walked out of nowhere seriously. Sakujiro. We can't let that happen. Come with me. Let's track them down. And then off they go. Okay. I think that's a good- that's a pretty good place to start. Start? I mean stop. <laughs> um... But yeah, I will, I'll probably be streaming again, maybe Friday, and if not Friday, I'll try sometime on the weekend as well. Uh, but if anything, I will be on, if you guys don't know, Saga, if you guys don't know Saga, I will be on his channel and we'll be playing some Fortnite together since he asked me to play with him on Sunday. Um, but... If you guys want to stick around for a little bit for those extra channel points, we are going to be raiding someone. Uh, his name is Jelly. Uh, he, I don't, I don't know him personally, but he's one of the streamers that I follow. Um, also an ASM artist, and he's currently playing Genshin Impact right now. So if you want to continue some, some Genshin stream lurking. 
uh, thank you again everyone for hanging out with me I really appreciate it um, thank you for all the subs gifted subs and Phil thank you for the raid appreciate you uh, I will catch you guys next time um, before I go here are thank you to all my mods my lovely wonderful amazing mods if you want to check any of them out those are their links uh, here is the raid message for anyone who is not subbed and for anyone who is subbed here is the raid message for that But I will catch you guys next time uh, I will update or make a post on Twitter if and when I decide to stream next time Okay, bye